Welcome back to Fire Emblem Engage. It's Evil, your best friend and resident raccoon. <laughs> resident raccoon haired lady. So we have one more obligation for DLC. So let's get that out of the way. We have to do DLC. It's in the game. <laughs> All right, to divine pair. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> <laughs> okay. It's in the game. We have to do Veronica, I think. Who even gets Veronica? There's like a super chat for Veronica. Veronica. What is it? Has a gun joker. What is the Veronica one? What's the other DLC? I swear there's another what other DLCs are there? Uh let's see. Veil, Force Unit, Permadeath. What is the DLC, dude? Amalia S rank ring. <laughs> Ivy Halberdier. I swear there's one more. It's like... Oh, Camilla. Not Veronica. Camilla. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gold Mary Sword General Camilla. Okay, that's what we have to do. It's been a while. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's been a while. Welcome back to Fire Emblem Engagement. I'm not streaming Fallout anymore. <laughs> Just started streaming Fallout for three days. I don't know why. It's fun, all right? I like the headshot super mutants with cool modern firearms that I'll never own in real life, all right? It's fun. It's something fun to do. I know you guys are here for strategy games, and I do not have a Fallout following. Whoa. I don't have to watch cutscenes anymore either. I'm picking up bad habits, like watching cutscenes. For example, we're back to the bike today. And here is your waifu. Hopefully the reverse recruitment will be over by the end of the year. I'll finish it tonight, dude. You wanna see me beat it tonight? How about that? I need to figure out how to do reverse recruitment. Yeah, I can't really, I can't make guides on it because I actually might get in some kind of situation doing so because nintendo does not enjoy people doing things to their games oh why am i watching this <laughs> i don't have to watch cutscenes. i'm free <laughs> i don't have like unlike in chat sabotage true zenoyrin i can skip cutscenes. <laughs> you like bro you like blowing brian's pop <laughs> brian Holy moly, she's a uh, character design. <laughs> yes, Camilla, I would like a hug. All right, let's run Gold Mary this time. She's our sword general. And here's our sword. He doesn't have a sword. <laughs> he has these lance axe. I looked at his thing. Like, wait, he doesn't have a sword. <laughs> and here's our not sword guy. So we have sword girl and not sword guy. They complement each other perfectly. And then she... Is on Hector, I think, now, right? The Tamara Hector. Is that even good, though? Let's just fight. We'll go for it. I think we have it. <laughs> Shall we begin? Really wish modes like Reverse Recruitment 0% were in the base game. It would be cool. I don't know if the developers think it's worth it. I don't know. It seems like they don't scope it out. <clears throat> it might be too niche. <clears throat> Jesus, man, I need to drink some water. <laughs> Just keep clearing my throat. Oh yeah, that's right. This is turn-based. The nice thing about streaming Fire Emblem is at any point in time, I don't have to worry about the game doing something to me. Because I can just set the controller down. And assuming it's not enemy phase, I have complete control of the controls. Well then, let's go. Well then. The forever map. Is there a way to make this quicker? Do we have Lin? Does anyone have Lin? Was I not a Oh no, this is reverse recruitment. I don't think I have Lin yet. Huh? Where is Fall? <laughs> I spelled brains wrong. <laughs> I know, and it's funnier that you did. So it's okay. I spelled brains wrong. Let's make a freaking dragon, dude. 
Bill is a dragon. Who even can go in there? I guess she could go in there. Can she tank five things, though? Do I have Lucina yet? No. I'm trying to remember what I was doing in this room. Right, we have Hort. I can handle it. <clears throat> I don't know if we can handle it, actually. I got damage. Let me go like, get used to playing Fire Emblem again. All right. Let's see what we got going on here. Got some dudes over there. So three things hit me here. Really, if I don't kill... Well, actually, that is correct. I said three. I meant to say four, but actually three is correct. So if you go here... Do I have a chain guarder? I do not. How can I keep you alive? Oh, I know what I can do. Here, let's do one of these. Stick her in there. What does engaging on him even do? Heavy attack, adaptability. Adaptability, huh? Alright, let's try this. You're blessed. Like bad tanking. Grind a zillion billion cash. <laughs> zillion billion. Alright, let's stick let's get everyone else up in here. I'm at hundred percent. It's very important that we move our units correctly. Where we headed. Frost domain? Are those supposed to be there? <clears throat> Jesus, man. I don't know why my throat's all messed up. Longbow. It looks like she tanks it. Even without the divine blessing. Oh. You attack Tiki? I'll get credits, dude. Get Eternal Clawed. You fool. You should not have attacked Tiki Vale. Get a fallen star. Okay. Does Linden have a range attack? Pop Makaya to attack with <laughs> with a toe. <laughs> there we go. Big attack there. Gale smash. Fire breath. Well, those are identical. What can you do? She can be here. Alright, whatever. 22 damage. I'll take it. I do enjoy that Hector has, like, <laughs> nothing he can really do that's useful. Uh, <laughs> um, hope no one's a Hector fan in chat. The misspelling of Brian reminds you of a joke in Teen Titans, where Beast Boy kept calling the brain the Brian. <laughs> brain. Alright, we gotta keep we gotta get this kill here. Let's send in Hort. She tanks an archer. That's kinda cool. Well it's a... Uh, I get PK Thunder. Oh no, I can't PK Thunder that. What about this guy? Can you kill this guy? I'm having a hard time kill, killing, like, two enemies. Is Hector the worst emblem? I think him and Leaf are, like, similar. I do occasionally hear people, like, swear by Hector, but I just don't get it. Maybe I'm just not smart enough to understand the strategies. You know what? You're going to load star this guy, because I think we're out of, like, attacks here. Oh, no. Here's a hand axe. Here we go. The units are sufficiently sabotaged, we'll say that. We cannot kill basic enemies. <laughs> We're struggling. We need like seven combats to kill two enemies. We're definitely struggling right now. It's very exciting though. Here we go. Eternal Claw. Crits that bad boy. You gotta crit him and then shit. <laughs> Let's get Lapis in there. 
She has the very good build of Iron Sword, Sword Power. <laughs> sword Power 4, Iron Sword 5, Roy. And with all that stuff, she's only 43 attack. Which is okay, actually. It's not terrible. At least there is a build using Leaf. I don't think I've ever heard of a Hector build. I think Hector's better because of the stats. He does give good stats. That's a fair assessment of the man. <laughs> Just keep doing that. <laughs> Alright, we gotta kill a flyer now. See, I am what is called a flyer denier. Not really sure what it is, but I am one. So how about that? Uh, zero damage is not good. There's no... Oh, she's on Sigurd now. A longbow. I guess she can hit and run. That guy. Here, you go over here. Here. Over there. Can't say I'm a fan of the axe. Axe and lance. Alright, engage. Storms. What does Storm's Light do again? Adopt stance that always follows up. Bows cannot follow up. <laughs> All right, interesting, we'll say. Restore 50%. This is magic, right? What else could get broken on that? I guess we can use this. We'll use that. Yeah, we'll use Wolf Bail. Piercing Glare. Blocks entry diagonally adjacent to unit. Oh. Weird. It's such a weird kit, I don't understand it. Which stat does Hefter give? Uh, here. I actually shouldn't be doing Mexican Crash, but... Strength, Defense, and Build. Okay, and then we'll do some... something. i poke this enemy. Do I need to, though? I guess it doesn't matter. We'll just start attacking stuff. <laughs> Thank you for being a member for 10 months, Orange. I've been trying to send super chats. That's just gibberish for the past five months, but YouTube won't let you. <laughs> I think Leo Aris had this issue, and I had him, I, I didn't have him, but I asked if the switching browsers works, and it does. That's a, it's a common thing I've heard of. All right, let's staff. You know what, let's great sack. It's a good use of it. Storm's Eye seems like a skill would be good in any other FE game. <laughs> It'd be cool if you could double with great weapons on it or something, so it has some unique thing. <laughs> build and HP. Why, why do they even have build for, like, the tanks that are slow? I always wondered this. It doesn't help you. In fact, it doesn't really do anything. Because you're already slow, so, like, why do you need build? I've never understood this. They're like, oh, well, you won't be weighed down. I uh, went from browser to YouTube app, and I tried to send absolute nonsense, but YouTube is like, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a tech issue. DLC emblem kits are so weird, they're not even worth $30. <laughs> I agree, actually. Some of them are good. Like, Tiki's obviously good, and so is Edelgard. And what other one? I think those are like the main two ones They are actually worthwhile. Hector feels weak. Camilla. Camilla feels random as hell. It just gives you a bunch of random things. It doesn't really matter. The build is a dumb stat at speed at home. I put Hector on John just so his build is crazy. Yeah. We wield the heavy axes. Storm's Eye is pretty mid unless you cast it next to a Lin holder for Storm Eye Plus. What does Storm Eye Plus do? Does it allow you to be ready for anything? That's what I want. Oh, we have an archer. We have a veil. Oh yeah, the mini bow. Mini bow. Oh my gosh, she gets one round. <laughs> mini bow. Mini bow, go. Go veil, go. Mini bow. Here, kill this guy. I think build should have been removed entirely. Just make strength the constat. I think it would have made... Plans weird strength growth, kind of have a case. 
They could have done that. They could have did something. Hell yeah, dude. Doubling with Roy. <laughs> mini bow. <laughs> From mini bow to mini no. Immediately getting one rounded by an enemy on your lord unit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> poor Linda. He's dying. Oh, look at this. Fail me not. I think build being based off HP would be better than strength. Hmm. <laughs> Iron Sword plus five. Yeah, do you like that? Do you like that? Here, Linden, have a heal. Have a treat. You stupid old guy. <laughs> you stupid old guy. He's like, that's uncalled for. <laughs> what does this do? 30 speed Levin Sword. Okay. Does that one round you? Maybe? What's the might? 33. Hmm. They're making me do math again. I think she does get one rounded by it. What's the accuracy? 154. Yeah, she basically dies to that. That's awkward. Uh, or does she? Yeah, she does. I can't block this. I could block this and then block here, I guess. One way to do it. What about the stupid Storm's Eye thing? I guess that kind of works, actually, Piercing Blair. This can't pass? Alright, that's kind of neat. The kind of get out of jail free card. Then he can go and kill this, I think. Yeah, he can kill this. The Hand Axe. Air Raid! You go Iron Sword because it's weightless? You could say that. <laughs> you could say that's the reason we did it. No, someone sabotaged it. <laughs> They're forcing Lapis to be on Iron Sword only. To leverage her high strength set. Who has a Vuln? No one have a Vuln? Does anyone need healed? No one needs healed. No one needs healed, no one has a Vuln. That I can safely trade. Alright, old man. We'll use... Good Physic to... Yeah, whatever. Physic to Mara. Get a little heal. Piercing Glare is cool. This is the first time I've seen Piercing Glare be relevant. Or, like, usable. It's a little hype for me. Storm's Eye Plus basically gives free vantage. Ah, okay. A <laughs> Lapis High Strength stat. Hit. <laughs> Gentility or Lance Power... On Tamara Sigurd. Uh, Lance power to kill Gentility for more damage and tanking. Lapis is better than most of your army, even though she has that yee ass iron sword somehow. Yeah. It's because she's fast, so she can kind of double. If most enemies use one range weapons only, the mini bow isn't so bad. <laughs> I love the I love the logic on that. Well so well if my ever if everyone's using terrible weapons. It's not that bad. It's fine. Now will she kill? Who can kill? Oh, yeah, you can probably kill. You have like wind. She's like PK wind or whatever. Look at this, dude. Look at the hort value. Horting around. Always be hoarding. Huffing and hoarding and she'll blow your house down. Oh, that guy's a longbow? And everyone's in the way? Like an obstruct, I guess. Oh, no, I think she tanks Longbow, though. Yeah, whatever. We'll tank it. What do we got? Steel Swords. Oh, Steel Swords? Interesting. Swords, huh? <laughs> Should have brought the other weapons. You're about to get Venomous. Yeah, dude. You're about to get Venomous. <laughs> hold out. <laughs> I have to hold out tank just so I can Venomous. Minibow can counterattack when normal bows can't. It can, that's true. It also can deal no damage. <laughs> All the time. Uh, I'll give crit. Uh, who can go over there? You can get over there. Who is this even? Lapis. Alright. Share spoils, okay. Okay. 
He's like a better heal. Here, let's do this. He says a bunch of random things. Did I get rid of the- oh, he can't even use the recovers. Here, use treat. How is he even using this? Oh, Makai. I was like, how is he even doing this, by the way? <laughs> He's an armor. He can heal though. He's allowed to do it. Kind of sad to see Panette with such low damage. <laughs> Sabotage. <laughs> That's the normal use case of Panette, really. People are just in denial as to how bad she is. <laughs> People just act like she's good, but really she's terrible. And I'm tired of pretending that she actually has damage. Ah, oh, he doesn't have Canter though. So he could attack. Start attacking for like chip damage here. Look at that, six damage. That's technically damage that you can see. I'll be okay. Hey, she echoed. Who told her she's allowed to do that? All right, you're gonna do this. You're gonna elixir. Luna crit fixes the mini bow's damage problem. I'm doing some cursed nonsense. You're mounting engage file. Why? What are you doing? What kind of nonsense are we talking here? <clears throat> She'd usually be eating the enemies? What is she, a cannibal? What's going on here? We got cannibals, we got low damage. She's good when she can crit. She tanks. Good job, Hort. Horton here. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, that healed. Oh, that would have one rounded Panat. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, Ivy, Ivy barely lives. He switched to dagger. He realized, oh yeah, swords are terrible in Wolf Knight. Why am I doing that? Uh-oh. Send in flyers after me. <laughs> swords, of course. Swords are terrible. What am I doing? And axe armor slayer. More experience, warrior one. Don't concern yourself. He's right though. Swords are terrible on this class. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's such a troll. All right, what can you do yes. for me? Give me a big venomous. Venomous. Is orange a cannibal or does he just eat oranges? <laughs> Hortensia surviving a bow? Impossible. She did it! She did it. And, and she didn't trigger holdout either. Yeah. She also did not trigger holdout. So people cannot say she can't tank. No, I'm like making up arguments people make. No one can say she can't tank. It's like no one is saying that. No one ever said she can't tank. It's obvious she can tank. <laughs> come on, guys. Guys, guys, come on, guys. Everyone knows Horde can tank, come on. Don't be ridiculous. Uh, oof, so close to killing. I could just get out of range or kill and then go here, maybe. Needs to catch a heal. She can help over here. This side needs some help. We need to rotate dudes out anyways. Hmm. They are fast. I was replaying three houses. Is there no flame lance? Wait, what? What are you talking about? Flame lance. In three houses? I don't even know what you're saying, honestly. <laughs> There's no. <laughs> you're having an imaginary argument with yourself now? No, someone said it. Someone said Horde can't tank, and I'm proving them wrong. <laughs> Someone said. I'll just say that about like weird things. Everyone knows Horde can tank, dude. Everyone knows this. Uh, what? What? I like these flying things. Here, go up here. She can probably tank that. You need to get out of it. And you are also not a good unit right now, or in general, really. Why does Fire Emblem hate swords so much? Throughout the series, they've been the least viable weapon type besides bow. It depends on the game. 
In this game, swords are fine. In three houses, I think swords are decent. There's like some early sword power classes and stuff that are fine. 26 damage? <laughs> Awooga Gold Mary. No! Not Rosado. Damn, dude, look at all these freaking chickens flying in here. How am I gonna kill all these? Jesus Christ! This map is just fly or hell. Alright. I'm gonna break the thing more. This map is the definition of fly or hell. Oh, and my team is split up too. How am I gonna kill all these flyers? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. All right, what can you do? Wait, oh. Okay, that's technically damage. Now let's say we wanna kill them and win though. Yeah, we might be screwed here. This is too much pressure. If I had to guess, and I do. Oh no. And there's also excess flyers too. Flyer emblem. Oh, GBA FE7 swords. Yeah, well, some of the GBAs, I don't know. Maybe. How do we get you over there? He can rewarp. But that's not what we want. What do you have? You're not Hort. Where's Hort? Where's Hort? Hort. Hort. All right, Hort rescues her sister. We just have to beat this. Rescue her. I like that she's at one HP though. <laughs> That's good. All right, you just chill out. Heal her. We might need the durability. I don't have Byleth yet. <laughs> she one-shots with Venomous. Tell me you one-shot with this business. Uh, please hit. Please hit this. Hit! Hit! Good. Alright, that one can be killed by someone. Fantastic. Uh, I wish I had Byleth so I can Raging Storm Plus. Or whatever the hell it is. Fallen Star. Okay. Alright, so she's taken out two of the five flyers. One of them needs last hit. That helps. For sure. Definitely helps. 28 defense against what? It's 35 and 33. Uh, okay. Oh, she's in the way. We have to clear that out. We have to rotate. Can Panette kill? What about Zoidbar? Get this kill? Oh wait, kill from here. Go Panette, hit a 53! Yes! Did it. I don't think he can survive all this. Here, do this. Pretty sure we can only really kill three in this position. What is hitting me? Oh god, another fly. <laughs> oh, I have Kanto though. Alright, I can tank a thing maybe. Yeah, this is bad. <laughs> what can you do? Proc? Oh, she missed and lost a health bar. Damn. All right. It's distinctly terrible. Can I even do an attack though? I can't lose units. Let's just see what happens here. I'm not allowed to lose units. What do you say is the best weapon type overall in Engage? Hmm. 
best weapon type in the gauge. Probably swords. Just because 11 sword. Wow, she really died to just two enemies. That's crazy. Oh, another one round veil. <laughs> Dude, we're overcommitted to such a bad position. Look at this. How did this even happen? This is unreasonable. All right, I guess we just won't push in. This game is very anti-progress. You either gimmick it or you don't make progress. There is no in-between. All right, let's do this then. It's a mixture of the Leaven Sword and basic sword builds that are good. What else? Binding Blade? Leaven Sword, Binding Blade. Even Light Brand can be decent if you don't have a Leaven Sword. Just like slap Leaf on a Mage, fixes the build, and then you go to town. Let's see. What am I getting attacked by? Lances and Swords. So we'll stay on this. And wait. Old Mary has to escape. Aaron has to escape. Ouch, this game is evil. <laughs> <What? laughs> this game is evil. It's all about evil. There's also Armor Slayer too, but that's like a secondary reason. Sieglind. Oh yeah, Sieglind is good too. There's just a lot of good swords in, in Gage. If we include Staff, Staff's the best by far. Yato is good. Yato is decent, stats wise. Oh. oh, they don't damage her? Oh, what did she just miss? Like a 90 or something? All oh, these birds, man. <laughs> There's too many birds. So many birds. At least we're, like, bottlenecking them. Damage you take? Okay, at least she tanks. Yeah, kill these birds. Stupid birds! Good magic damage, easy access, weight is not high, damage can be patched by skills. Yeah. Problem with light brand is it's attached to leaf. That is true, it is attached to leaf. Which is a problem for it. 10 damage. Ooh, 31 damage instead. <laughs> now that's what we call damage. Let's see, bring you back. We'll have to hold this choke. Or die. It's either we do that or we die. I would rather not die right now, personally. We're doing it. We're beating the map. Slowly. Well, the thing is, too, though, I can just keep power leveling. So eventually I'll just get really good. And by really good, I mean my units will get really strong. <laughs> I'll get really good at the game by my units being better. Could you imagine a barber trying to give Vale a haircut? <laughs> yeah, it would, be, it would be quite difficult. Can you tank this thing? Oh, she has a guaranteed dodge. She should be fine. She also has holdout. It might just enemy phase itself. That would be ideal. Ah uh, yes, Gold Mary the Tank. 
almost getting one rounded by a basic enemy, and then proceeding to die. Oh, she can't tank. I can't. I don't know why I thought she could tank here. I I don't know what I was thinking, dude. Gold Mary on general, she can't tank. Everyone knows this. She is not a good unit. <laughs> Who actually can tank here? No way Linden is better than her. He's three defense higher than her. And he's 16 speed. <laughs> what? Hold on, hold on. Do I have a speed tonic? I have a defense tonic. Bronze Mary. She just, she doesn't do it, man. Ort should have tanked that. Ort probably could have tanked that, to be honest. Gold Mary fans obsess over her defense growth so much. It's not even that high, though. Like, they act like she's, like, insanely tanky. The modder hates Gold Mary? Uh, I don't know. They definitely hate Tamara, because they made her the Jean unit. If they really, if they truly hated Gold Mary, they would have made her the Jean unit. I think that's fair. All right, we have a different strategy. We run away. We obstruct here. We give them a nice Tamara to attack. That'll that'll keep them. That'll keep them happy. Okay. Oh. Get him, Tamara. All right, definitely not the stats we want. Stupid birds. Oh, is that two range? It's hard to tell. Oh, my diamond. So how nice is it having a staff innate unit this early because of Linden? How nice? Well, I wouldn't know because mine's a general. <laughs> mine's been a general. He's on a staff. He, he Thanks to Micaiah, he can be a staff unit, but he's been a general this whole time, basically. Okay, here's what we do. This is better because at least we can defend this. Before this was like an indefensible position where we were relying on Bold Mary, we'll call her. Oh, wait, if I attack here, I can't get out. So I have to push forward. Uh, what can you do with this business? Piercing Glare could work. I might just have to Piercing Glare after killing a few. I think that's the plan. So we'll do this. Uh, Hort commits. Horticide, if you will. Popcorn Papa, best general. It, I mean, it, theoretically, you also get Mavier, who's a Royal Knight or whatever the hell. That was actually kind of crazy. He was definitely better than Vander. Essentially, this run goes like this. You have an insane early game that's significantly easier, and then the rest I can't really give in and put on because I was sabotaged. <laughs> that's about all I can tell you. Here we go, look at this. Waha! It's a me, Mini Bow Veil. Get back, popping into the scene once again. Wow! Alright, that's Mini Bow Veil for you. Now, if we do this. Uh, I could see where she could go to attack. I think I have a plan. Combat arts. Alright, we want to do. If I go here, though. I guess she should just combat arts. Fallen star. The spear. 
to remove attackers. Cool. Alright, now what? Aaron. If she goes here and does this, I think we're fine. You drop out of high school. <laughs> you drop out of high school. Use your pop your thing. Or what does popping even do? <laughs> Dude, you pop Ike, you take half damage. You pop Hector. Uh, I don't know. I guess you'd get this. Or is it hidden? If foe initiates. If foe initiates! I think, I'm pretty sure if you attack with Ike. Here, yeah, do that. Foe initiates. Well, they're gonna initiate. Like, that's what they do. They're mofos. How is he hitting her? Excuse me? What? How? Oh, no, that's not him. Who is hitting her? Wait, who can hit this tile? Oh, what is this? I'll th okay, Elf Thunder. Okay, so here's what we do here. This was the plan all along, anyways. You do that. <laughs> These, they are mofos. What, what, I don't even understand what that just said. All right, Hector's voice is pretty deep for a 17 year old dude. It'd be funny to hear Timmy's voice out of Jean next year until you finally get to that part. <laughs> next year? Wait, why'd you say that twice, too? If Gold Mary wasn't hot, I honestly think the community would have trashed on her viability. Does that also mean that people don't think Tamara's hot? Because people like Etie. Etie is actually bad and people, like, defend her. Oh, did I kill all of those stupid things? Or no, they moved away. They, f <laughs> they flew up. Oh, they flew up and now I'm gonna throw up. You pop Hector, enemies ignore you. And bully your frail buddies. Yeah, like with Ike, you still get attacked. That's the beauty of it. They just ignored me. Like, they, look, they just peaced out. They're like, yeah, whatever. A <laughs> wooga to Mary. Is that, is, that, that, is that what that means? I thought Tamara was a kid. Is she? Pretty sure she's like an adult. Here, let's Google it. Engage. I think she just has a young voice. Hey, where is it? Yeah, it says she's 18 on the wiki. Now, how do we deal with this? Flyer hell. I can't even hit them. They're so far away. They're so far away. <laughs> okay. First, let's do this. Pop this. Can we kill one of these guys? I can almost kill one of those. What about the paladin? Can you do? Nothing. <laughs> Rosado damage, dude. <laughs> I don't know if Tamara. I don't know if. I don't know. Tamara's not muscular enough. She's not muscular enough. Look at how jacked she is in this armor. Uh, damn. Killing those is going to be difficult. I think we're just getting benchmarked right now. Now I can I can have Tamara body block here, or better yet here. Uh, Tamara doesn't have boobs. Of course, people. She doesn't have big baba. Of course, people think she's hot. That she's hot because she doesn't or does. Here, have you do this? That's terrible. Fanboys be like warrior souls of Etienne's issue. No wait, give her Lynn. I promise that you. I promise you, I can fix her. That's right. Oh man. Okay, she has the avoid. <laughs> Thank you for being a member for nine months, Sergio. Hi, <laughs> how you doing? Or Sergio? Did I say Sergio? Dang, dude, I need to figure this out. There's like. 
I have low damage with this, low damage with this. I have a lot of griffins that are about to fly in and start wrecking my team. Silver warrior, silver bow warrior today is literally the only thing she has going for her, and it's not even good enough to justify training her. Yeah, but have you seen her performance skyrocket? <laughs> how can you say, <laughs> how can you write her off if you haven't even seen her performance skyrocket, though? Uh, get treated. All right, we got Horde now. Fighting is so messy. That's a res tank. What can you do? Uh, I guess go down here. Combat Arts, Fallen Star, Add. Probably could have just attacked that. It's been a while since I showed up. But you play games I don't want to spoil. Oh, okay. That's alright. Die. Dang, it did actually hurt her pretty badly. <laughs> this is bad. A lot of enemies here. I don't have a kill on this mage. Tamara can kill, but I need, I also need her to be over here. It's funny how like in Divorced and Homeless and in this run, Tamara is overworked positionally because I have so many frail things that need defended all, like at all times. She just needs to be in two places at once. That's like an issue. Yeah, how am I gonna defend both of these positions? I have to kill this somehow? Or tank it? It has armor slayer too, it's gonna kill- Dude, Gold Mary already almost gets one rounded without an armor slayer. They just have that as like the... The big thing. Oh, uh, I can't move anywhere! It's da everywhere is, a da is like a- At least one killed unit. Like, everywhere is dangerous. There isn't a position these units can go in right now where one of the flyers doesn't wrap around and kill them. If I'm using ETA, I'd rather not have to use a skill slot to, on hit plus 30 and a hit engraving. Uh, don't slander the boosh. He has good budget builds without the need of speed fixing. ETA and boosh. Boosh is definitely better than ETA, for sure. He he actually can like tank a hit. He's in a he's a backup early, which is valuable. He's he's a tier above her for sure. At, like at minimum, I would say. You have cancer. All right, you're gonna hit and run. We don't have space really. I think that's the issue. Boucheron is the best supporting unit for a prizal build. Yeah, I don't really know DLC builds. Let's see, I have 34 res and hold out. Get body blocked. <laughs> now we have this issue, the armor slayer who did not attack Tamara. Rudely, might I add. Does anyone... Oh, Linden's overcommitted too. Oh, this is bad, man. This is really bad. I don't have any ways of keeping all these alive. Linden definitely dies. Well, actually, that's not necessarily true. I have Tamara here. You have to dive out. I'm playing like keep away, like keep the <laughs> the low HP units away from enemies. Oh god. Oh, she has nowhere to go. <laughs> uh, you go here. Yeah, go there. Uh, what weapons do they have? Axe, axe and sword. Okay, I need a sword then. I guess rune sword. Okay. She needs a tile. Does she get one rounded though? Oh yeah. Level three Panette. She gets one rounded. No way of body blocking. Vale would have to tank two hits here. She can't. She can barely tank one. Panette's dead. There's no tile for her. She just needs to be undeployed. <laughs> She's just a liability. Really, I should call it Liability Emblem. Or Liabilities Sabotage or something. 
Oh, there's nowhere to go, dude. Anywhere Veil or like Panette dies or Veil dies. I just have to stick her here and hope they don't notice they can one round her. They completely ignored Tamara because she's on Hector. Oh, is that guy gonna punch Horn out? Yeah, they'll attack Panette because she's an easy kill. That's that's one of the reasons why I don't like Panette as a, as a hard carry. She's an easy kill. Oh, they all got one rounded. Okay. So in this position, they completely ignored Tamara. That's so obnoxious. She would have enemy phased a few of them. I guess we just pull back more. I have to just keep retreating. I If I advance, I'll die. Like we'll get, we'll pincer ourselves positionally and then die. There's no, there's no advancing here. There's just simply too many birds. There's five birds right now that all need killed. That's the big issue. And I killed like two or three of them too. And they just completely ignored Tamara. Because they have no damage. All right, if I don't engage, maybe we'll be okay. Maybe I have to kill the backups. Yeah, Hector sucks. Every time I use him, it's just like a reminder. It's like, yeah, this thing is terrible. There's significantly better options. All right, we have to kill. Uh, <laughs> Can Ivy kill that guy, though? Oh, wait, what can you do? Yeah, do this. Get a crit, nice, big crit. We have to remove these birds. Remove the birds. Alright, pop. Combat arts, fallen star. Maybe we start with poison. Piercing glare is interesting at least. It's it's preventing it prevents things from passing those tiles, no matter what. It's that's slightly different kind of interesting could be better we have to crit either way we didn't crit now if the thing attacks Tamara first I think she can survive but if she gets chained attack too many times she will easily die and then we need to physic her try to increase her survivability she could be taking half damage but <laughs> fortunately that is not a thing with Hector. Let's start rotating out. Okay. All right, at choking points. Good, he attacks first. She kills it. That was their main source of damage. They should have minor damage on her. Oh, no, not... That's bad. Oh, man, Hector sucks. They won't attack her if she's popped, and now they do have a kill on her. Hector is just bad Ike, for sure. I'm sorry. For, like, a thousand percent. Hector is just trash Ike. I did. People don't want to hear the truth, but... Is it obstructiles? It's indestructible obstructiles. And flyers can't get past either. The best part about doing this paralog is that I'm doing it so that Gold Mary armor can have Camilla, which is completely useless. I think that's the best part about this. All right, so we popped. Should I have just never popped? Have we seriously just made no progress this entire fight? This game is so funny. <laughs> they need to start reeling in some of the, the power creep on some of this stuff. And I think they're assuming we have like insane power creep. I 
I can do this. Fifty hit rate, whatever. Missed. Am I like? Do I have emblems I could use? I'm just gonna retry. We're we're barely making progress. We're literally in the starting area at like turn seven. Ike is one of the strongest emblems. I feel like most of the base game emblems are really good. Ooh, what can we give these units? What can we give you? Celica. Wait, who's... Is no one allowed to do Celica or something? Or is there a reason why no one's on it? Okay, a lot of these are super chatted. <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> oh, man. We just don't have damage. It's hard to push through this magnitude of enemies. Wait, is Etia force deploy? Maybe I can run her instead of Panette. Etia for $2. And Panette. Martial Master Lunar Brace. We can't even do that yet. I'll drop Panette for Etia here. Just so I can beat this. She is still a force deploy. She's not high in, as high in priority though. <laughs> Silver bow, long bow. Silver bow Etia, dude. This is what we always have needed. What other bows do I have for her? Christ bow. Christ, what a bow. The bad thing is though, look at her hit rate. Ooh, <laughs> 136 hit rate. Oh boy. Spur res, fortify defense. <laughs> Fogato. Fortify defense. Yeah, this gives strength, actually. Gives her a guaranteed hit with warp rag. Not bad. No progress allowed until you've gained five levels. <laughs> Dropping Panette over Etia. Never thought I would hear that. <laughs> it's, it's quite cursed, I know. But this is the world we live in. Swap spaces. Oh, I really don't like Hector. It doesn't do anything for Tamara either. It's just not useful for her. And then the Sigurd Hort. I think that was done to ruin her. She was too good. The Thief Marth. And then Rosado just does no damage. Do you have passive points? Is a thousand SP almost. All right, let's try this. There's just so many flyers. I would prefer to check the damage. We'll do this though. I'm with you. Blessings of the nine divines upon ye. And then who wants to fight the steel sword? How do I look? How do I cook? I'm your knight to command. Are you taking notes? Me, right? Let's get these dudes in there. Yes. <laughs> There's so many generals, too. You guys are obsessed with super chatting generals onto my teams. <laughs> There's an unreasonable amount of generals all the time in every chat sabotage run. The best class. Even if Leaf is slightly worse than Hector, I'd rather use Leaf because at least he's interesting. Sandstorm, yes! Two 
two sandstorms. Look at this. This is her with like junk gear, bad emblem. And look at this. She also tanked. She tanked three. And then dies to the fourth. But we have an, um, a res thing, so it's fine. It's fine. Oh, thank you for joining Coffee Man, Elegant Sloth. That's also a great name. I appreciate the membership and the name. <laughs> the name is also good. All right, ETA time. Busting in once again. Now we have the kill. Look at how good Sandstorm is, though. Like, in all these challenge runs, it's always value. It's huge value. It's the Circus of Value. Tell your playmates about the Circus of Value. I think that's what he says. Your playmates. Primates, maybe. Go Lapis! <laughs> she also tanks right before she dies. It's funny. I mean, to be fair, though. Well, what level is she? I think her level is fine. We would have her on a better emblem, like Roy, Erica, Ike, and she would have tanked the fourth one. And then we would have told our playmates about the Circus of Value. Look at this value! 75 hits! That's actually respectable. You know what? Maybe Etia is S tier. Tamara lives, not ICG. Doesn't have to say right it is right. <laughs> She's got a lot of training to do. Etia is on the job. Here, let's get a nice kill, maybe. Oh, we're shy one damage. Exactly one damage. This. Who else is two range? Linden? Oh, he's <laughs> he's a general. <laughs> he does have two range. Oh no, he doesn't. He doesn't even have two range. Uh, you do this. Thank you. It's still funny. It is, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. It is still funny. Oh, man. Two damage shy. I don't think anyone's one rounding right now, though, so I don't really mind it. Except for Ivy with Venomous. She's the only one who's really one rounding things. The venomous thing, it was a bit of a bit of a meme, but it's actually fine. It's okay. It's it's not bad. Well it is bad, but it's not that bad. Let's keep you guys here, maybe. We'll kinda hold like this position. We're basically gonna sit in the opening for 20 turns and then we'll start pushing. <laughs> you know, because I riveting gameplay. <laughs> Dude. Fallout is such a good game. Fallout 4, the the headshots, the mutants, the funny voices. They have guys in there doing funny things all the time that are always amusing to me. It's just a solid game. Uh, let's aggro all this stuff. Let's see, swords, ag oh, it's the weapon triangle. Can't not get broken by the entire weapon triangle though. <laughs> I can try tanking these. Venomous is unwieldy. I'm just gonna sit here and wait. It's not it's not a fun strategy. But it is a strategy. Uh is there any way I can grab that flyer, just the flyer? I'd like to kill this. She does tank it. Here, let's stick you, like, here. We'll have to have some, like, in-between units. We'll just kind of hang out. Alright. All I've been thinking about is playing Fallout again. Nice. Yeah, Fallout 4 with the right mods is actually really fun. It has a good gameplay loop on survival mode. I think we farm this. Do these end eventually, or is this infinite reinforcements down here? Because if it's finite reinforcements, and it ends, then we can put in some work down here. Could just start power leveling people. 
<laughs> the Mojave calls for you. They need to just remake New Vegas and Fallout 4's engine. And that would be amazing. That would be peak gaming for everyone involved. Hit! Aha! Eight damage! <laughs> if you ever do sabotage run, just ban tanks. Ban tanks. Oh, I see. Like to prevent people from just forcing me to run general or to ban tanks for another reason. <sighs> okay, Ivy comes in. And she combat arts. Killing, maybe? Maybe killing, yes, she kills. Very good, very good Ivy. And then Hort. Linden. I don't want him to pop. You tank this? She takes 10 damage. Yeah, whatever, take 10 damage. Oh, no! Goldberry, why? Why are you so inaccurate? Why is everyone so inaccurate? These dudes can't hit their attacks. Tried to say the tank's class name. Message gifting block. Really? That's weird. I have the censorship as off as I can put it. Like, it, it, uh, from my end, it's off, but I think it still auto-censors things. Hortensia, here's a who. How are we going to kill this guy, by the way? He's just going to... Oh, God. We don't have a damage. We don't have the damage to kill him here. Uh, I have a strat. That's so stupid. Whatever, we'll do it. <laughs> this is so stupid. No! You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Put her in the way? Oh, no. You've got to be kidding me, dude. This is not happening. This is not the way it's supposed to go. Ah, he's gonna kill someone, isn't he? Don't allow people to force you to use tanks. The generals are hard to use. Yeah, he's gonna kill Etie. Or is he? Ooh, she enemy phased it, or Etie phased it, for those in the know. Those who understand how good <laughs> hit plus 15 S tier. I guess so. It's just a scratch. Look at that, she tanked that like a champ. Busting in once again. That's the phrase. That's what she says. We believe it too. Do I waste physic? No. That action, dude. <laughs> WTF NCA <SEA> go. <laughs> dude, she's busting in all the time. She's always busting. It's multi heal. Our generals. Why is it censoring generals? That's weird. Our generals the worst class. They they can be decent under specific circumstances, but it's really the resources used to make them decent that's making them decent. Do these reinforcements end? I guess we'll find out. She said it was just a scratch, what a badass. Yeah. The worst class is Swordmaster. Hmm. The worst class in Engage Maddening. So let's assume we're optimizing the worst classes. Because then otherwise we'd be like, oh, it's the worst class? Well, we could get to Swordmaster Roy or whatever. Or, oh, General's the worst class? Ike plus whatever plus whatever. You know what I mean? So it's like, what is the worst class? Oh, it's Sniper. Are you kidding me? Sniper's the worst class. Bonite eclipses it completely. It also can give itself hit 40. There's better things that can do crit things that are more consistent. Berserker and Sniper, absolutely. It's not even close. Those are the worst classes for sure. Definitely those two. Because Berserker is just terrible warrior with a, a low dex cap for no reason. And a bad passive. And then Sniper is just a bad bow knight. Great weapon builds on general are good. High Priest is so bad. High Priest is also quite bad. 
It's just bad Sage, basically. Oh, 33, baby. General is like bad Tamara, I think. For the most part. She's basically like the best tank thing innately. Great Knights are just generals, but with plus two move. True, and a higher speed cap as well. Uh, Sniper has the goofy Radiant Bow Astro Storm build, yeah, for LTC. But we don't talk about LTC in this channel. We don't talk, we don't take kindly to LTC in these parts. They can get out. <laughs> they can get out. We don't take kindly. No, I don't care if you pull it easy. Swordmaster is still bad. Hmm. I don't know that it is bad, though. I think Swordmaster is actually good. I think it's a good class people don't know how to use. Same thing with Halberdier. I think Halberdier and Swordmaster are both good classes that are just used incorrectly. And the way Halberdier is used incorrectly is that it is an it is an off tank slash potential main tank that can double anything and it can be used on fast units it doesn't have to be like you I, like people always try to min max it like oh yeah get it on a unit that doesn't double but then you get doubled on enemy phase and you're still frail so you want to not get doubled so you want to double like you don't speed fix it you throw it on like a fast unit sword master is good once you get s to your swords Ah, sword master. I think it's good on Roy Erica builds. It doesn't need speed fixing. It gets to run Cantor for free, basically. So it doesn't need speed fixing and it has a slot for Cantor or something else like Cantor. So you could run, like, I don't know, Gentility Erica Swordmaster. Or I'm sorry, Gentility Roy Swordmaster and even optional passive slot. And then it's just like off tanky as well. And then the Roy used Binding Blade. So then you're minus five defense, or you're plus five defense and res from Binding Blade. Plus like two to three both from popping Roy. Plus more defense from equipping Roy. I think Roy gives defense, right? Str is it strength, defense, and health? I think. And then you get Gentility, and then you also get damage from Gentility. You get plus six strength from Roy, and you one round things. Problem with Swordmaster, there's better options like Hero, for instance. Is Hero better than Swordmaster? Swordmaster is significantly faster with for slightly higher strength. I'm pretty sure the speed difference... We can look into it, but I'm pretty sure the speed difference is like at least like 4 to 5. It's like the equivalent of having like speed plus 5. Chloe's strength ain't the best. Chloe might be able to make Halb work. I've run Chloe's Swordmaster, Marth, Levin Sword, and Caleb Bolg. That's interesting. Roy gives strength, HP, and res. Oh, okay, not defense. Right. Okay. Yeah, so strength is good. But Swordmaster, Erica, Swordmaster, Roy can be pretty good because you're fast on the right class. You're very fast. Just like chilling out, <laughs> killing these enemies as they spawn. Do these spawns end? I still don't know if anyone's answered that or if I'm not noticing this. Bow Knight, autocorrect. Is bitch sometimes? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> the autocorrect for Bonite so, spells a swear word. Swordmaster has two more speed, 5% more growth than hero. Okay. So it's two speed. Run through is actually situationally good too. Hero has brave assist, is fast enough, can use higher damage weapons. Like Noah Ten and Fensilar. Hmm. Well, the reason why I have a hard time thinking Swordmaster is bad is I'm using, like, on Divorced and Homeless, I used Kigetsu Swordmaster, and without crit fixing at all, he's able to one run semi consistently. So, like, clearly there's, like, potential there. Backup Lodestar Rush. Georgios is pretty meaty. That's true. Oh, we're actually getting. We got some birds. Good. Gotta do this. Hit the bird. If you dare. Oh, I missed the bird. That's Kagetsu, though. 
Sure. But who are we running? Like, are we assuming a lower lower strength unit? Griffin stats are tied, but they're better than Swordmaster with minus one build, which is funny. I mean, Griffin's better for sure. I don't think... So, all right, so Swordmaster is not a bad class. It might be just slightly worse than other things, which doesn't make the class bad, though. It's like, it could be in, like, B tier as, like, an overall thing. But other things are just better. Obviously, there's still flyer weakness and stuff like this. John Swordmaster. I'm telling you, one of the devs had a Chloe Shrine or something. Yeah, who is John Swordmaster? <laughs> uh, we need a hacker. Who, who can kill this without dying? She can kill this, but she's max level. So that's a waste of XP. Whatever, we'll waste some XP. Send in Hort. I have a Tamara Shrine. No, I don't like her that much. Oh, there, <laughs> there was actually a funny thing <laughs> that happened in real life. There was this dude that was like one of my friends in high school. And he was being like, he, we were trying to invite him over to some like, like gaming thing where we're all just like playing like Xbox and shit. And he was like, oh, I'll come over if you play or if you pay for my gas because we we're all like broke high schoolers. And this one dude was like, we don't like him that much. <laughs> At your service. That stuck with me forever. It's like, we don't like him that much to pay for his gas to come over. Because it was kind of like an ego trip where he was like, like, why would he even suggest that? It's, it's so crazy thinking back. Uh, for example, low speed, high strength, defense like Louis. Wait, what are you asking? I think it's important to compare several common unit stat archetypes for a class. Maybe? I think certain things just can't run other things. Like, certain classes can't... Certain units can't run certain classes. All right, we got some decks. Well, she'll just keep fighting these flyers, I guess. It's Physic Tamara. Yeah, whatever. Hit her with the Fizz. The Saline Swordmaster build. <laughs> we'll give Sombron that work. <laughs> it's important to bear in mind. Most of this cast is low strength, high speed. Sure, so like Swordmaster could only really be used on a few classes or a few characters. I keep like saying classes and characters. I don't think most things can run Swordmaster well. Except for Chloe, she can run any class. Look at the damage on her though, dude. <laughs> Tamara Hector. Oh, Jesus. I didn't even realize that got through. Some of these birds after me, man. Look at all these flyers. All these chickens. <laughs> Look at those chickens. Just chicken fighter. Chicken fighter three. The chickening. Hit it. Yes. So a class that fixes strength for those low strength units is inherently better than a class that fixes speed for the high strength, low speed characters. It, it usually is. It's easier to damage fix a fast unit than it is to speed fix a slow unit. There's fewer resources to spike your speed up. I know there's people that have made videos uh, claiming the opposites, but there are explicitly at least like four emblems that seriously fix damage in a huge way that's hard to overlook without DLC. And they are Roy, Erica, 
Celica. What's the fourth one? Oh, I should know this. <laughs> Forgetting, I'm like drawing a blank right now. Roy, Erica, Celica. Who's the fourth one? Marth does, but he's he's like spotty availability. Definitely not Byleth. I only pulled the emblems. Like drawing a blank. Age emblems. Caselica gives you plus eight magic, which is pretty huge. What the hell is this? Just all the emblems. Wait, is this it? Oh, they changed it. Caselica's. Ike, kind of, I guess you could consider it. He gives you plus four strength. Sigurd, Sigurd minor lead fixes it. I guess you could consider Ike damage fixing. Plus four, that's plus eight damage. Oh yeah, then the, yeah, yeah, Ike, because he gives you crits, right. Yeah, Ike gives you crits and he gives you damage. Yeah, you can consider that damage fixing. Yeah, yeah, Ike, definitely. He also lets you tank though. And so does Erica and so does Roy. Celica does not though, but plus eight mat. So Celica damage fixes mages, Roy damage fixes physical, Erica damage fixes everything, Ike gives you crit access and damage fixes strength. And for speed fixing, it's Lin. And then you have minor speed fixing units or uh, emblems like Marth gives you speed, but he has poor availability. Roy and Gage gives you speed. Lucina gives you speed, but is usually on a utility unit. Byleth gives you speed, but is usually on a utility unit. So really your speed fixing emblem is Lin and you're competing, comparing that with four sources of damage fix innately in the game. So you combine that with the, the faster units and you just speed or you just damage fix. I gives you almost everything. Yeah, uh, with speed versus strength, is that for speed? Bases matter more while for strength, growth matters more. Maybe. There's some, there's some effective uh, corrupted Weapons that are like Siegland is crazy. Uh, Seraphim is crazy. So it can matter more. There's also forging. It can matter more. It depends. I would say it depends. It depends for sure. But I found that damage fixing in this game, like if I'm just playing engage normally, is not ever an issue. And it's like an, it's a non factor. Like, I'm able to get almost any of these units one rounding without, and I almost never put like strength drops and stuff into them either. Alright, let's just do this. Or maybe Linden. Yeah. Heal Linden. Of Lindonia. We'll just keep farming these until they get Void Curse, I guess. If I push in, I aggro, like, the whole map. Swordmaster is pretty exclusively speed. It is. It's basically just a speed-fixing class. Well, it's, it's, it's a class that is very fast. That's a backup. I'm just gonna keep feeding her. So that we can win. <laughs> now, are they done with the entryway reinforcements? I think you have a high strength, low speed unit. You want to use them, which is better. Use a speed fix class, like Bow Knight, perhaps Halberd. And then try to do it with skills. Uh, yeah, Halberd is nice for those for the low speed things. It allows them to double easily. You could always just try to go for one shots too. Uh, what is the best use case for Lin? I'm actually not sure what the best use case for Lin is. I always find that all my playthroughs, she's just like this free resource anyone can take that like no one really wants. I only run, I mostly run faster units, so it's not like I need her to speed fix someone. I think her best use case really depends on what you're, how you're playing the game. But speed fixing a hard carry, so that they double literally everything, can be pretty good. Other speed fixing classes fix other things, like Bow Knight fixing accuracy. It can. It can fix accuracy.
Halberdier is tanky too, so Louis Halberdier actually not, might not be bad. It has like, uh, almost like picket bases. Alright. Better level up Rosado. Oh, he doesn't have Cantor? What's hitting him here? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Just all these flyers. We do have to make progress. What turn am I on? Turn 11. <laughs> infinite infinite uh, reinforcement maps, man. Alright, go fight these. Yeah. Go fight those, Tamara. Go, Lapis. Level up. Oh, you missed an 89? And you got 8% crit? Why? <laughs> Why would you do this? <laughs> you fool. You shouldn't have got 8% crit, dude. That was a mistake. Take it back. All right, hit that. Okay. <laughs> she missed. Build is a bad feel stat. What do you mean bad feel? For example, if we were to take Etia, she needs speed fixing, bulk fixing if she plans. Eat and counter, or eat counter attacks and accuracy fixing. She cannot use Sword Master. Got 67 hit, 3% crit yesterday. Nice. They're strong. Huh? Quad strike. Hopefully Veil can last hit over here. And Etia can kill that. <laughs> Etia. Bonite lets her hit things, gives her enough speed to start doubling. Targets with minor speed emblem. Some things, some units just need too many resources too though. It just becomes unreasonable while well, she can't double with that it becomes unreasonable to run certain enemy or certain emblems with certain units or certain classes rather oh what about if you pop away okay that's decent but we need to kill things as it turns out uh yeah to figure out what I want to do here. All right, what if you do this? Pop this. Pack these. You know what? Rune sword them. No, don't do that. That's stupid. Go for sandstorm. All right, no sandstorm. Very well. How about L thunder? Oh, it's not. I don't even have an L thunder. I just have a thunder. Dang, we're broke as hell in this place. <laughs> I just have a normal thunder. All right, we got it. We got a normal thunder. It's high damage. Not the brag. All right, then you shoot this, please, with your ETA attack. With speed versus build, plus speed skill is best in units with low build, high speed, while speed plus skill is best in units that are already fast to begin with. True. Yeah, like you wouldn't build fix Linden. No, <laughs> you know what, Linden, get in there, dude. It's time for you to show your bulk. Show them your impressive bulk <laughs> as a Lindonian. Oh wait, she about to get hit by a stupid tomahawk? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, don't hit her. Do not hit her. Do not hit her. What are you doing? I did not hit her. I don't know why I'm giving such a French accent. I've been broken. Could Hector be used for Nos tanking? The Rune Sword is strength divided by two. In this game, I thought it was. Uh, I thought it wasn't. 
I thought that was just the other games. You clearly want to have no build for heavy attack. <laughs> yeah, heavy attack is like... Just give me five damage <laughs> with heavy weapons or something. I don't know. Call me old fashioned. Or don't. You don't have to do anything you don't want to. <laughs> but end of statement. All right, let's do this. Iron Sword Lapis. One round to win. <laughs> I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hey, Mark. <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> I did not. Direct me. Direct you. How do we get Etsy out of this danger? Wait, what do you do? Levin? Oh, Levin Sword? <laughs> Wait, Levin Sword? Can she tank a Le Oh my god, look at her bulk. Can she tank a Levin Sword? Eat res. What's the damage? If she tanks... I don't think she has enough to kill, though. No. She doesn't have enough to kill. She would counterattack, maybe killing. Or maybe hitting, rather. Not kill, though. However... I don't know why I popped Sigurd there. We can just do this. Let's try hit and run strat. Could do this. Port can tank 11 sword. Hmm. Who else has stuff? <laughs> Who has stuff? What do you got? Air damage. He's got hit rates. Master. <laughs> hit a, a 48. You got this. He does. He does have this. <laughs> he almost just died to a straight crit there. Very risky business. Are you rotate back? Can Gold Mary do anything? No. Can you do anything? Just lodestar this if you can. Make my life easier. No, you can't! Alright, set this up. It's a setup. Hector can make a strength-based NOS tank, maybe with Panette. Hit! Yes! Good. She went from Gold Mary to Bold Mary. With her bold new moves. <laughs> Alright. It's official. That is stupid. Let's go for our big break here. Oh! Sandstorm too for no reason? Thank you. Thank you, Tamara. Bless you. I right, look at Lapis when she's getting healed. She always looks funny. Oh, is he getting one-rounded by that? I oh, know he's 17 res. He's fine. He can tank it even if it gets doubled. All right, and then Eti, yay. Health four. All right, just hit this longbow shot. There we go. Yes. Get in there, soldier. Hopefully no one dies. We are making progress. We aggroed some of the early enemies, and Tamara dies. Damn. <laughs> she got one rounded. <laughs> oh. Oh man. That was unexpected. The Levin Sword. So close. I guess we don't push in as much. I was on Fensilar. I don't think I would have killed it on Javelin, though. 16 damage? No. Or no, 12 damage. I did not hit her. How many of these have love in? Just the one? Dude, I do not like Hector. <laughs> it's such a bad emblem. It gives me false sense of security. Where it's like, oh, she's engaged on a thing. Everything else would give you something that you would use on her. Phone initiates. 
Oh, but her res is only... So plus 30% res sounds big, but plus 30% of 13 is 4. <laughs> so... Gold Mary, Bold Mary, Volt Mary, Mold Mary, Old Mary, Cold Mary, Hold Mary. I'd rather just have Resolve. Dude, the entire Hector kit is just like worse than Resolve in a lot of situations. Because Resolve just gives you plus 7 res, so she'd be 20 res at all times below 75%, which is generally, like right now I think she's below 75%. Or not, like, really close. I like having Hector to inherit quick rep repost. Hmm. If weapon allows. Why can't they just let us goof off, you know? Why does it have to be allowed by a weapon? I don't want a weapon to tell me what I can do. Hector plus Panet, Nos tanking with plus 30% defense and res, always doubling, prevent enemy doubling. Whenever she misses, call her Fold Mary. I could try. But I can't make any guarantees. Oh, I said Lapis in, right? Let's do this again. I'm hoping she can tank something. Oh, she can't kill though. Crit! Oh, one HP. Damn. Venomous! Or do this, that's fine. Aha! Oh, look at him! He can break! Now, I know she dies. Is there a res plus on any of these? Defense plus five. Uh, <laughs> I think Irvin, equipping Irvin here. Well, also, if I was Ike, that'd be half damage, too. Dude, Ike is just so good. It's just too good. There's no comparison. Like, she for sure dies if she gets hit. By the Eleven Sword, maybe by Elixir, I guess. Oh wait, foes cannot double or follow up. All right, I guess we can Storm's Eye. Like free, and we'll Rune Sword too. <laughs> Such a weird kit. All right, Rune Sword. Let's see it happen. Hector lets you keep the right weapon equipped. That's true. Oh, I have zero damage on Rune Sword. The other guy doesn't hurt me though, so at least she gets a tank now. Adaptability. Oh, but Marin dies. Oh no, she counterattacks. All right, cool. Good. <laughs> He's flyers, man. Flyer emblem. Flyer emblem. Engage. Alright, now we're gonna shoot that frickin' bird down. <laughs> frickin' bird. Frickin' bird! Get the frick! Get that frickin' bird out of here, dude. Doesn't he know his actions have consequences? <laughs> I'll do it. Go, Lapis! Hooray! Good job! 
You did it. I'm here. All right, don't die. That's a bad idea. Let's try this. Uh, yeah, go for it. Hit, hit the fifty-nine. Oh yeah, <laughs> hit the fifty-nine. Time for skeet shooting. Do you prefer horse emblem or flyer emblem? <laughs> I don't really know. I guess flyer emblem's sexier because you have all these cool things flying around. Whereas horse emblem, it's just a bunch of stinking horses taking <laughs> taking dumps all over the land. <laughs> Actually, wait, hold on. Flyer Emblem is just flying horses. <laughs> it is just horses, but they fly. I guess it's basically the same thing. It's functionally the same type of situation. Either way, they're taking a dump all over the land. Guys, archers are bad. What do we do about it? Flood the map with birds. <laughs> That does make them better, though, because it creates a need for them. Flower emblem. Yeah, that's true. It is also dragons. It is both dragons and horses. Uh, that's a lot of flyers. We don't want to aggro these yet. It seems like there's a never-ending supply of flyers, though. Kind of an awkward spot. Hmm. Let's do the hit and run. It'd be nice if I could one run them. But no one can. So it is not nice. Ready for anything. What can you do? Give me a sandstorm? Nope, didn't hit. Unfortunate. It's an armor slayer, doesn't double. She should be able to tank a single hit. Cool. It is hard to make progress here, though. Hmm. <laughs> Can't hit anything. Oh, man. Yeah, heal her. You think Bo should have infinite hit like Splurge Tome? I don't think so. Never have too many flyers. It depends. It depends. May maybe you can. Maybe you can. Oh, you don't kill by one? Plus one damage from Evale. Hit this thing. Just takes my whole team to kill a single flyer. <laughs> we did it. We hit it. That's yay, leveled up. Strength and dex, fantastic. Learned, no distractions. What does this guy do? Steel sword, doubles. Hmm. Okay, she, sh she should tank on holdout. I think she's gonna be all right. Then you get out of there. Your job is to not die over here. Same for you. <laughs> ATA MVP. You think, oh yeah. With more flyers, terrain matters less. That's true. I think flyers are nice to have on games where they're limited. Because then it matters. I think that's when they feel the best using them as well. <laughs> the mini bow is so dumb, dude. Mini bow, go! Good job, Bao. That's her voice. That is now her voice. I hear you. I hear you. Thank you. Give us a nice break. Nice. 
think we're at a turning point of sorts. Of horts, if you will. Now, does Rosano have hit and run hand axe type situation? No canter. He surely have canter. He does have a hand axe, though. I think this is the time to push. What do these guys have? Lances? <sighs> Alright. We'll try it. Oh wait, let's heal her first. <laughs> Send in Lapis. We'll use the good old Lance Reaver. Mini bow moment. The mini bow has been surprisingly useful in this run. Well, I think it's because compared to everything else, it's not nearly as bad or nerfed. All right, we're gonna Lance Reaver. So it seems like it's better than it usually would be. Ready for me? Okay, Lapis pulls. Hopefully she does meaningful damage here. She does actually. And she has hauled out. Whoa. Mini bow should be one to two range. I would be fine with that because it's so weak. Isn't that what it did in three houses? One to two range. You're yeah, like, what kind of bow can't shoot at two range? Like all bows in real life can do that, you know? And hit at two range. Can I actually do meaningful damage here? <laughs> or ten to your riders, but <laughs> so stupid all right who's gonna get in there we have Timmy. i really need tiki back in my tiki torch yeah attack that so what can we do dang how can you hit everything oh this is the l thunder he kill us. I'm gonna rescue him. He's gonna kill us. Thank you. In theory, I'm going to rescue him. In practice, eh. <laughs> maybe. Oh wait, he can't rescue. Right. Here, convoy. Or should she kill? Can she kill? She can't kill. I have a dumb plan. Yeah, let's just try it. I have a dumb plan. And a dumb plan is a good plan. That isn't tested. <laughs> it's a it's really just a bad plan. Or maybe it's not, who knows? Uh, spear, what's the damage on that? Alright. Actually, no, I have a good plan, maybe. Somehow. How many of these have ranged weapons? Just one? What's the hit rate? 70? Okay. Let's kill this point blank. Hmm. Do you have hold out? Not you. Do you have hold out? You do. Alright, good. Here is the plan. It's very simple. Actually, I have a different plan now. What's these damage? These have low damage. Needs to be at full HP. Oh, she needs to be at full HP! Alright, we'll go back to the original plan, which was this. Hmm. How are they gonna break these though? <laughs> this is suspect as hell. This is very suspicious. Where to? Everyone has holdout, but most people are dead right now. Move to the other side of an ally. Yeah, she needed to be healed. 
Then maybe she piercing glared. I'm, I'm sure they find a kill though. <laughs> Send an Etia. Operation Etia. Busting in once again. Hold out! Survive! Yes! The holdout works! Uh, I've heard people consider making bows 1 to 2 range, but being unable to counter at 1 range. What do you think about that? That could be fine. Though I think they're overhyping how long it takes to shoot an arrow. That bows can't counterattack, but for balance porpoises, it's okay. Okay, now we have a lot of enemy vehicles. Too many, in fact. Which of these... All, right, all of these are a threat to Horde. But what does one do? I think she can tank too. She can tank too because she has holdout. So she can actually just sit here and just like attack one. And kind of body block ish. Right? Think about it. So if we send in a Hort to body block, kind of, it almost works, right? Only what you deserve. Oh, how dare they body block me here, of all places. <laughs> you know what? Actually, I don't know what. I don't really have a good way of answering that. You'll see what I made up. Hmm, maybe I should have hit this one. What did she hit? Uh, I'm okay. Those don't stack out, a, stack out a kill, though. She can easily kill, but I'd like to get her doing two things or whatever. Combat arts. On star. Fine. We have to get Ivy out of there. That bridge Ivy is awkward to defend. Or is it? It might not be. If we do this correctly. I think we can do this correctly. Chain guard, oh boy. <laughs> Oh, what? I just got a crit like that? All right, I'll take it. I'm not even going to question that. I'm not going to analyze that any further. That is the perfect level of analysis. Nothing else to see there. Nine damage from the spear, huh? All right, hit this with a hand axe. Actually, he might die if he does that. Here, do this. I oh, doesn't do damage because of the thing. She's at full HP. Wait, don't do that. That's not what we want. Okay, and then something like this. <laughs> Just block them out. Positioning is cool, and definitely your friend. Make snipers have one to two range, bow knights have three, two to three. That'd be interesting. Tank! Fort tank! Hold on. <laughs> Hort. <laughs> the Hort tank. I want to go Hort and Tamara are the tankiest units. Why would Sniper be one of the ones with less range? Maybe, yeah, maybe have it be the opposite. The idea is cool, though. Oh, wow, she almost killed this. Good job. Good job. Okay, we got some threats coming in here. We have some incoming enemy vehicles. In 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 incoming enemy vehicle! Some incoming enemy vehicles. Not good. Ready. Do it! Ooh, good dodge. Huge value in the dodge. 
Uh, go down here, Great Sack. Nice. What else does that do? Defense plus one. Grants defense plus one to all healed. Nice. Wait, during their next combat? <laughs> That's so random. It's, I mean, it's better than nothing, but it'd be better. So for this situation, she can take out a flyer. She has that buff, right? Yeah, she has that buff. So she can just shoot one of these down. Doesn't really matter. Actually, no, it does matter. She should shoot this one down. It's the same hit rate. Might as well just shoot. Hit. Good. Okay. All right, then busting in once again. Etia. Okay, let me think about the positioning here. Yeah, I think we want her here. And then you can kill this. Doesn't really matter what you do. I mean, it does to some degree. Oh, wait, did she get one rounded? No, I think she's fine. I think she's fine. I think I did this correctly. Okay, go down here anyways. And then we do this. Yeah, then they can't get in. Port body blocks. And then we need something to cap on the end there. You die to that. She has the dodge. She dodges an attack. She would get one rounded. But then we body block and she's fine. And then Marin kills this. To do. Some chip damage. Oh, she just gets whacked. Hort. It also grants a crap ton of EXP. It means great sacrifice always hits. Maybe let bows counter at one range, but half damage. That actually would be cool. I'd be fine with that. So it'd be like a quick panic shot or something. So it's not as like deliberate. Oh my back. <laughs> oh, my back. All right, we'll combat arts. Get her that dodge back. Now who wants this kill? Maybe Rosado? So he can start leveling up. And doing stuff. I think we made it past the initial flyer spam. Oh, no. Oh, he leveled up anyways. All right. That's fine. All right. Good job. Jump. Strength. Index. You need it. Uh, Gold Mary. That's what we come to expect of her, really. This time. Let's level up you. It's a Marin. Need to run more mini bow. Dex and speed. I'm fine with that. Okay, I'm mad. Treat. The Sigurd on Hort feels like useless. <laughs> it's like a wasted emblem slot for her. It doesn't really help her. Like, it gives her canter, but none, nothing else in the kit really matters. Like, the build doesn't matter, at least on this class. Maybe on a Sage or something, it'd be a little bit better. Oh, dude, we cleared my... Oh, I was about to say, we cleared the flyers and look over here. Flyer hell. I want to say we don't aggro these yet until we have, like, a clear opportunity. How many pulses am I on? All right, I said still nine. That's good. I'm mad. Me, right? Oh boy. Did 
She's breaking the map. Can Horde hit a 20? Oh, she doesn't have momentum. Ah, oh, she could with momentum. That's sad. She doesn't have it yet, though. She'll get it soon, just not yet. I hear you. Go grab that. Thank you. Uh, if only she could heal herself. <laughs> that would be ideal. Now, do these still have XP? Did they ever get Void Cursed? It seems like the map is just like feeding my units XP on a conveyor belt. Alright, let's Linden heal. Bows are probably the most interesting weapon type to talk about because there's so many different ways of making them not suck. True. Where to? Where to? Hoop! Good. And Lapis does get doubled by those. Most unfortunate. Okay, just steel swords. I think that's... 30%. Good it is. <laughs> the holdout. Otherwise she was in a bad spot. Average DLC map experience. <laughs> That's the average Oblivion experience. Alright, set this up for Vale. Go Vale! Mini bow attack! Yes! Good job! Feeding Etia. Sus. <laughs> Still not on level three, huh? Can we stack this thing out? Doesn't look like it. Oh my god, Goldmer gets one round. <laughs> oh boy. Here, do this. Send in Tamara here. Very likely. Why does she have rescue on her? Oh, they can just fly around. <laughs> just fly around it. Or they could. Unless, oh, what's the move from here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Jesus Christ. All right. Uh, she gets one rounded. I think he does two. Wait, hold on. How much damage are you taking? 24 times two. All right, so 48 damage with lower defense than him, but he's at low HP. That's a problem. Oh, I forgot they can just fly over this. Rubble. Hmm, interesting. Uh, he shouldn't get one rounded, right? Alright, we can obstruct. He might get one rounded. No way, by an armor slayer? That's insane. I refuse to believe it. Oh, look at this. Linden can hide in this little pocket. Alright, obstruct here. The armors are so hard to keep alive. Linden has holdout. He does. He's low HP, though. 
It's too low for it to work. Okay, I think we're okay. Oh wait, does Etia get one rounded? No, she does, doesn't she? They're gonna one round Etia for sure. Is it? No, it doesn't work. I need swap. Etia is just dead. Big shocker. Oh yeah, massive shock. Everyone was confused. As to how Etia got one rounded. By a, a small, by a, a slight breeze. Everyone was confused and shocked. Etia getting one rounded, unheard of. No one's ever one rounded Etia. I guess we'll do this. So what did I even do here? Oh, she just like smacked something. I guess she has to pop to kill this. It's too big of a threat. I just leave alive. It? Thank you. At least Ivy's popping off. Her weird ass build. <laughs> Gold Mary can hit maybe. Let's see. Oh. Alright, fine. What about Zoidberg? Should have gone Paladin Etier for the bulk. Momentum. That's good. Nice, dude. The max. Okay, treat. Treat broke, okay. There's still a lot of birds approaching. Do they ever stop coming? Is it infinite birds forever and do they get void curse? I don't know this map that well. I've done it like a handful of times. sharing one treat. <laughs> I'll have anti-toxins. Whatever. We'll waste them. We'll use our anti to anti anti-toxins. Anti-Daxons. She definitely can't tank those. Tamara probably can, just barely. The mage is gonna give us some trouble. Interesting. Longbow, huh? Is that two longbows? Steal them.
It's gonna be hard to push through there. People arguing if strength or speed are more important, while the truth is that if a unit doesn't have speed to double slash not get doubled or defense to survive more than two combats, they're bad units. That's true. I think I think durability is an important aspect of units. It's often overlooked. Hmm. But what about Hortensia? What about Horton time? Very interesting. Very interesting. All right, let's use a physic. She's gonna go fight things. She's weirdly tanky because of her speed. And the holdout. There we go. Momentum damage, huge value. Quadruple strike. Now, can I tank the magic here? Why does she have a magic tonic? <laughs> I don't understand. We need to get her Tiki back. It seems like it's difficult to do. Let's get you out of there. Oh, I missed. Oh no, not Veil! Oh! They wouldn't have killed her, but still, they went for the attempt. They tried to kill Lil, Lil Veil. Why well, Scythia had that problem, she was generally agreed to be one of the higher end of the three houses cast. It wasn't. I don't even know that like Scythia had a problem though, because of Thursus and Caduceus staff. How do you say it? Or is it Catechus? Whatever. Either way, it's like you get the range. And then you get magic range plus one. And then you could also throw her on a canter class. So I feel like her downside... The game allowed you to just completely negate it. I'm ready to help. Through Superior Technologies. LLC. Incorporated. LLC. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's my little stupid joke there for you. Now let's say for the sake of argument we divinely bless a tank with technologies and then attempt to retreat. Now does this guy never move? Oh, he has a Tomahawk though. He's a Tony Hawk. Here, let's attack with a Javelin. Javelina. Speed Marin. Staff Utility. Uh, staff Utility is a bit different because stats don't matter for the most part. True. She still didn't want to take any attacks at all. Um, I guess, but you could always use like Rescue. You could always use Stride for Hit and Run. There was always Impregnable Wall. So like even if she was in danger, I felt like that never mattered for her. She doesn't want to get hit. Like, you're not wrong. Let's go for the break. Why not? Double miss. All right. Right on. <laughs> right on. Like, it's a good thing. Uh, You get one rounded. So don't. <laughs> so don't get one rounded. What do you have? Steel sword. All right. I'm going to move in in physic. Very much depends more on posi positioning when stats. Let's do this. 
They'll probably focus. Forkus? They'll probably focus Hort down. They'll probably forkus Hort down. <laughs> They'll forkus her down. You know, those are the words we use. Let's get Gold Mary out of there. All right, what do they got? Can they kill Rosado? I think they calculate a kill on Hort, but they don't know. They're not. Oh wait, they do have it actually. That's below threshold. She dies now. They don't miss either. I wish hit rates worked both ways. I feel like enemies should have less reliable hits. Because we have unreliable hits. Like guaranteed they hit. Alright, so Horde can't do that. The, the physic was weak, so... Not a surprise. If I do something like this... I could make like a framework. Hold on, I see what I can do. Hit this. Ooh, fantastic. Predetermined RNG missing seed. <laughs> you gotta love it. Predetermined misses and hits. Yeah, he double- Oh, it's a triple miss in a row? Oh, the RNG. The RNG. Who cares if the moves are good? The RNG matters more. Alright, 100% hit rate. How about that? Alright, two more misses and lower percents. Cool. Can I give him a miss? I don't think it'll work like that. It seems too high. Alright, so we have two misses, unless we have 100%. Or higher, maybe. 85. I think she missed, too. Okay. I think heal resets it, doesn't it? Or moves it forward? Maybe it doesn't. At the very least, I can do this. Okay. <laughs> it's just sitting on a string of misses. Very cool. She dies, though? Like, she can't even go in. Because this guy will just tap her out. With an armor slayer of all things. It's very embarrassing for her. She's surprisingly not bulky. Shockingly not bulky, I would say. What's this? Armor slayer? <laughs> Alright. Problem. Ugh, this is a junk turn. The fact that we're sitting on like three consecutive misses is just abysmal nonsense makes me miss chess <laughs> it's because this is not a thing in chess you don't have to worry about like missing attacks okay what do we have mm, I suppose we could kite do this yes we kite we I just keep having to play defensively I like to be able to push, at least occasionally. <laughs> Sometimes I like to push when playing these games. Not today, though. Today I'm defensive. Okay. Uh, and then you heal her better, though. Holdout is still bulking. It's very resource heavy. What would you do if you miss? Does everyone need hit fixing and maddening? Generally, everyone needs some kind of hit fixing. I don't think there's anyone that gets away with not doing it at all. Most units need it a little bit. Almost no one can get away with not running any hit fixing, unless they're on an accurate class and an accurate weapon type, but that's, you're usually one or the other. Hmm. Alright, let's stick to Mara over here. This. Easy go in soon. Did she die to that? I don't even know. 
Everyone's just low HP. Alright, a good slash for you there. Now she's at threshold, she'll be fine. Assuming they focus her, they do, good. I would say for most units, accurately hitting flyers and wolf knights is typically a problem. Regardless of the unit, it's just more or less of a problem. Some units are just better at it. How do I kill that mage safely? <laughs> but I could do this, I suppose. The fire doesn't spread far enough, though. And if I do fire and ice, she still gets poked out at three range. I need to follow that up with a magical attacker to kill this guy after doing that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> strategy. <laughs> You've seen it. You've seen strategy before. All my resources are just like tied down to fighting the infl infinite supply of flyers. Who at least don't have Void Curse, so... At least I'm getting XP off of them, but still. I would prefer to not be fighting an infinite supply of flyers. Just hit this 53, man. Okay, he ate a crit and missed, so not exactly what we would describe as winning, but he's trying. <laughs> oh, yeah, and she's getting kills, which does not matter because she can't get XP. You know, Etia, let's get you some kills. Let's have you bust in. Okay, never mind. <laughs> let's have you bust in once again. I can't use mini bow anymore. Hit him with the tail smash! Oh yeah! Cool. <laughs> Hit him with the tail smash. Do I have just healing staffs? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Alright, this is painful. The pain of existence. I don't have just like cheap heals. If anything causes me to lose this map, it's going to be that. Very likely. The pain of existence. The pain of existing without heals, really. Okay, I'm trying to, I am trying to push. They need to, if they're going to spawn in reinforcements like this, it should be in waves. And it should be like every three to four turns, not every turn or every other turn. If it's every turn, it's obnoxious. If it's every other turn, it's usually too much pressure for no reason. It's, it's just too much um, spam. It just literally slows you down and wastes resources. It doesn't really create like a meaningful interaction that's cool or unique or something. Engraving is also a limited resource. True. Yeah, units that are engraving heavy could be uh, hard to run. So what do we do here? We got a flyer. Now, do these guys ever move? Are they just weird? Are they just going to be like this forever? I can't go up there because there's overlap. They love their overlap and they love their reinforcement spam. But chess puzzles manage to challenge players without having either of those things, so we know it's possible. <laughs> Stop bringing up chess. Everyone's always like, why do you bring up chess so much? Because it's a strategy game. It's a game. Chess is a game of strategy. What do you got? Five damage? Here, do your big attack, I guess. See the, where this gets us. The Iron Sword is better than the Roy weapons. <laughs> Oof, the Skyden chapter. How's it going, Wing of Shoe? Reprise is DLC, which not everyone's gonna have. That's true. Engravings have been limited. Or engravings being limited is mostly an early game issue. How's it going, Ichi? Welcome back. Welcome back to the stream. 
The stream of dream dreams. A stream of memes. I can do more. I don't know that he can, dude. He's claiming he can do more, but I don't believe him. They always have overlap. Like this game is so pu uh, push, punishy, <laughs> push punishy. It's like anti push. I swear, I swear they don't like you to push. I have a theory, a game theory. Thanks for watching. I have a game theory they don't like when the player pushes. All right, let's start opening this guy up. Ugh. Big old smack there. I don't know when they aggro. I guess we'll find out now. Chess with pawn reinforcements. This game is very enemy phase heavy. Turtle emblem. <laughs> You do lose access to six of the engravings for a while. That's true. And you can't get to use them on the things you probably want them on too, for like most of the game. Uh, Marin can't survive with all that. She can eat a hit. Here, go grab this. I don't know what they're gonna do. We're gonna find out, I suppose. She can move in for free. I'm gonna drop back. We're gonna great sack here. A lot of people are missing health. Good old Lindonia. The armor Linden. I'm here. He's here. It's a fucking dragon, dude. You know what? You can do this. If you tank two though, twenty-five defense. Speed. Double. Those are doubling speeds. No, you can't do this. Sorry, Vale. You think you can do this, but unfortunately, you cannot. Let's get a hit in. Horde can do this. Hold on plus Horde is good enough. That sack is pretty great. <laughs> have you ever heard of Hexagon Chess? Um, I haven't. I've heard of Shogi. But that, as far as I know, that's mostly played in Japan and isn't really in the West that much. And I've heard of Go, which seems like it could be cool. I've, I've never played it though, but I'm not against trying it. And worse yet, for those that care, you lose access to six set of Bond Rings. And that's... And that S to system was fumbled hard. Both in literal gotcha system and not all S ranks having minor skill attached. Yeah, the S rank skill or the S rank bond rings, my, rings, the S rank bond rings. <laughs> I feel like could have been done better. Could have been, would have been, should have been. You know, that's what I always say. I'm known to have always said that. Can you hit this, my dude? Give me a hurricane axe. <laughs> Give me a hit. You can do it. All right, ETA, busting in once again. Maybe. Okay, she is busting in. Very good. And then fail. And hit a hundred percent. He's batting a thousand. And then we want him to heal. Here, go here. We'll heal Rosado later. There we go. Oh, he can't heal himself. It breaks. Or maybe not. Is that a bug? It was single use, wasn't it? Or it only uses one use. Oh, interesting. <laughs> this is going to be weird. All right. First things first. Uh, we're a little pissed off now. It's official. Oh, what is this? They fly the flyers are pushing it already? Jesus Christ, dude. These things are relentless. <laughs> who, who designed this map? Why are there so many flyers everywhere all the time? I feel like they didn't playtest this. I want to say they didn't. I'm basing this on the fact that this map is insane and hilarious. Why would this ever be a good idea? I don't 
don't know, man. Maybe they feel like they had to because of engage abilities. It's so crazy. Alright, we can't really push in down here. These can stack out anything. And there's about to be more flyers. I feel like I'm making one to two tiles of progress every five turns or so. What turn am I on? 28. Yeah, I think that's accurate. <laughs> Maybe like three to five tiles every five turns. Because we started out over here, immediately pushed into here, and then we're just like slowly inching our way down through placed spawns and then the waves of reinforcement flyers. Now, if I do a thing here, she will get stacked out. There's too much damage here. This map came from Fate's Conquest. It works a lot better there because of how the mechanics work there. Yeah, I, th I would argue this is probably the worst paralogue. Not even the, not the hardest, not even close to the hardest, just the worst one. The other ones you can reasonably beat quickly. Uh, this one, maybe there's some weird stuff you can do. But just the, like if you beat this as intended, even if you have like good units, I do feel like it takes some time. Like it takes some time to get to the boss. And the infinite flyer stuff, it's just reminiscent of chapter 26, like playing chapter 26 as intended. What, how, actually I'm not even sure what that is. Like what does that mean? How are you supposed to play chapter 26? Because everyone just kills the first four emblems and then the boss usually, or kills like two to three and then kills the boss. What's the hardest paralog? Probably the connector, but I, I know how to do it better. Like I have tactics for it that are pretty effective. You just like the sword. The Soren one's also just as obnoxious. This this and the Soren one are easily the worst. In terms of like enjoyment factor. Oh wait, she can get in there. Very dangerous. Stupid even, but she can do it. She doesn't double on a mage? Really? Oh, by one point of speed. Unfortunate. Doesn't double a mage, huh? I just don't have mages right now, aside from Hort, who's on flyer duty. Permanent flyer duty. Alright, let's get you down here. Uh, I guess fight these things? I don't know. The choke points. This is just a rough map. There's like choke points, there's flyer spam. I'm convinced the DLC was not playtested. I think that's correct. I think they rushed it out because of time constraints and then they immediately had to work on another project and maybe tested it to make sure it worked, but not tested to make sure it was like good or fun. Like the Xenolog feels super untested. It has like all these uh, weird conditions. <laughs> I can't, I can't just leave these things alone. They're gonna one round the remnants. Oh wait, can I even kill here? He has to like, he has to do like one of these. He has to hit this. He's missed three or two so far. <laughs> three so far. <laughs> and now he's dead because he missed that. She cannot kill. Dude, he only misses those coin flips. Always missing coin flips. Yeah, we have no way, unless you already have flyers, you have no way of attacking these while you're pushing through these chokes. It's just a weird scenario. I don't know. Likely not tested on Maddening. Probably. Yeah, someone's dead over here. We have to just keep pushing through. I actually regret buying the DLC for this game. I wish I never did. I feel like it's better without it. Now, if I attack this, I think it aggro's all of them. So I need to have like a really good plan for when I do that. That's why you entice with 30 crit and one more range. Sniper sticks out more. Oh, snipers in general should have had a skill that's plus 30 crit and one more range with bows. I agree, they should have something. Their current skill is junk. It's like plus 10 crit when they can't counterattack. It's so nothing. <laughs> it's just like... You would never consider switching a dude onto this class for this reason. All right, so we know, so she missed her first hit, right? And then he missed his hit, but he got hit by the enemy's hits. 
So maybe we steal... We can't hand him misses because he has guaranteed hits. I think she went first and missed. I don't remember. Let's try a different RNG attack. <laughs> Is this going to be the whole stream at this point? The run won't be over until next year. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to make progress, but I'm using really bad units on one of the most obnoxious maps ever. Yes, he hit. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. He hit. All right, good. Uh, how are we going to get through this? None of these can kill this armor. We also need the cutscene rule in this game. Oh my god, dude. I'm, I'm just like seriously considering not doing chat sabotages. <laughs> it's just like dumb as hell at this point. All right, Raging Storm, I guess. I'm considering just switching into full-time game dev and just like dropping. Yes. Uh, covering games is a thing. I'm considering it. It's what I would rather do. Torturing myself on video games for people's amusement is turning out to be not a wise career choice. <laughs> uh, Alright, what else? Uh, this, Ivy Smash. This is like a bad move too. She can get out. Kind of. How does she stay out? She uses her attack, does five damage. Chat sabotages are fun. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to make progress and kill here. I don't want to just like hit this thing. I would like to actually kill the enemies. All right, you drop down. I guess do this. Get your free hits in. Uh, do something better than that. Why doesn't ICG just make sure his chat isn't sabotaged? <laughs> That's a good point. Zero damage. I really like your content. I want you to stop fully. I don't. I mean, I would still do game dev stuff, like game dev streams and stuff like this. I find that it's taking, it's costing me a tremendous amount of energy to do this whole thing, like. <laughs> It's like significantly more than anything else I've really done. Uh, I guess go here. What is going to hit you here? She gets hit by two. She has a dodge. She get doubled. No. All right. She's fine. You move down. Yeah, like today, I don't, I don't have a daily video for today. I went to record a few, but it's just like... I don't know, it feels like I'm like going through the motions of making content rather than actually making content. Oh no. They found a kill in Marin. Of course they did. When the next Fire Emblem game comes out, you're still gonna drop guides and stuff, right? Probably. We'll see. I just lost Marin. Oh dude, if I have to restart this, it's gonna be so rough. All right, go back to here. Yeah, like maintaining, a, not, not even growing a YouTube channel, just maintaining one is actually a lot of work. 
And I would still make some content no matter what. It might just be an issue of like how much per week. I would never like fully give up or whatever or something like that. But it is really difficult to work on an indie game while also streaming and doing YouTube stuff all the time. Like doing regular YouTube content. It's just there's just not enough time and energy and it's like I have to completely like do I want to work 12 to 14 hour days for two to three years until I scale the channel and then ship a game at the same time or like what's the plan you know don't you have to go through the motions to get a core audience that sticks with you regardless I guess it's hard to get that though for sure that's that's like really difficult to achieve I'll still be making like I'm not I'm not saying I'm like stopping or anything like that I'm just saying it's like crazy as hell and the other thing too is like with guides I, it's difficult to make guides for games I don't care about or don't enjoy so like for Unicorn Overlord I feel like I've played it enough I feel like I'm done with it I would say it's a decent game but I'm basically done with it at this point so I'll probably just finish up the one stream and then move on from there maybe more balanced pick my units run where chats pick the units to a large degree has enough staffers and damage dealers i mean we can start doing stuff like that because sometimes the chat sabotage is just like my team is just so ruined i have to learn a play style that's insane and nonsensical which is fine it can be funny uh but when i'm trying to do like these difficult things on the side it's not as it's not as like fun for me really uh I think it's really like the game dev thing is like this like lofty goal that always makes everything else much harder. That's really the issue. <laughs> do a no reclassing team. Now, what do we do with this? It's so I, it's hard to punch through here because we have one mage. <laughs> and it's not the Linden armor on Micaiah. <laughs> we have one ma magical unit. Uh, what do we do? Heal you. I'll heal you guys. Convoy. I might run out of pulses and heal staff. I'm getting dangerously close. When will you play Fate's Conquest? I don't know. Uh, maybe, probably eventually. It's hard to say. Depends on what games are coming out. Uh, what is this? Venomous. <laughs> so attacking aggros. Chat sabotage are fun to try new things you wouldn't normally do. It easily spiral to control and soft lock itself. <laughs> I don't think we've gotten to a point where it's soft lock. Like this is clearly possible. It's just like really, really tight. Like the like I have to make pretty pretty solid moves or else someone dies it's almost like divorced and homeless and i just seriously lack like offensive power so like pushing through things is really challenging like pushing through these armors while getting harassed by these flyers is actually taking a long time we're on turn 29 like if i attack them someone dies because he stacked them out what other game is my interest in right now um System Shock Remake just got patched. I was supposed to stream that earlier, but the patch didn't ship until after my morning stream, which is unfortunate, so I just played Fallout. Um, I'm kind of enjoying Fallout. <laughs> Thank you for being a member for 10 months, El Rosario. I was gone for a while, but I'm still a member. Ain't going nowhere. Also, Fram. Ah! <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah, I think the game dev thing is just like a huge like lofty goal that almost always feels out of reach because every like i have to basically do like a full-time job and then work on game dev as like a second full-time job where i mean i enjoy it it's fulfilling and i want to do it but i feel like at some point i just don't have enough energy to do that to like to do all this stuff and i have to like really trick myself into working 80 hours a week <laughs> it's like oh do you really want to work 80 hours a week it's like i mean i'm totally fine with like 40 to 60 60 is fine 80 is kind of insane though and it does take a toll on your health 
even if like you can do the work and get through it like it still adds up it's like a cute like stress is like there's stress that takes a toll on your body right like if you run all the time even if you do it correctly and with proper form you can still like mess your knees up or whatever or get some kind of injury uh it's a sweatshop fueled by passion yes slay the stress slay the spire stream win thank you for being a member for three months Karai. uh slay the spire i don't know i could try it it looks okay. It doesn't look like something I'd be hugely into, but it looks like it's decent. It looks like it'd be kind of fun. I would need to play it, though, because, like, most games, you have to play them to get a feel for if you'd like them or not. Uh, the grind is enjoyable only until it drains your health. True. Yeah, like, you hit, like, break points in life where it's like, okay, this is, like, insane. <laughs> where it's, I mean, you can keep pushing, but it's not smart. Like, you know it's not a good idea. Just because of the toll it takes on you. You love the membership emotes? Nice. <laughs> Very hard game, by the way. But it's easy to take up. It's really hard to master. That's cool. I played too much Fallout 2 and 3 a decade before Fallout 4 was even an idea. Even, even an idea. Nice. I would have given up on this map an hour ago. Really? I think we're making progress. <laughs> so I'm like in denial. I mean, we moved from here to here, right? We have to get this hort over here, though. And then we can actually push. Let's pop. Oh, yeah, I, could, I completely forgot I could have popped. Now, if I do this... If I do this, I can probably kill... On this. I'm sorry. With that, we have a kill. Plus 10 momentum. She has to pop out of there. Alright, we're officially in this shit now. <laughs> We're officially in. Facebook official. Uh, let's get a combat arts fallen star. Can we push this far in? This seems crazy. This seems reckless and stupid. <laughs> this seems like I'm gonna lose a unit. <laughs> Can we make this work? Uh, uh, Can we do this? Can I do this? Physically, not mentally. Physically, can this be achieved? The armors don't move. Lapis can smack that. Tamara can smack that. Tamara has health bar. Smack this? Break this? The armors are going to try to stack out Tamara, but she has tanking. Lapis kills this. Lapis can tank two hits. Uh, one for to half, the other to hold out. Then the third kills her. Tomahawk plus two kills her. She has the damage. And then this kills the mage, but... <laughs> you know. Suspect as hell. What if we fire them? And Blazing Lion kill? I can! That might do it, actually. All right. All right, she still gets, she gets hit by two, but she has holdout. She should be fine. And then down here, Rosado's dead. <laughs> it's always like something. Can he survive? He has holdout. He needs to catch a heal. Go here. Yeah, like even this game does require a lot of energy too. Like creativity and energy are like resources that are not infinite. Even if you have like sleep well and work out, like I work out, like I just did 50 minutes on the bike. I do like an hour to an hour and a half on a treadmill each stream. I have like two gym days, sometimes three. Uh, I'll do like pull-ups randomly. I have a good diet. Like even if you min-max the shit out of things, you still can just run out of energy and you just need to like sleep and rest. And I feel like that's like, I'm hitting like physical caps. It has nothing to do with like mindset. It's just like a physical limit. Where it's like there's only so much max difficulty you can possibly do before you run out of energy or whatever. Plus like the game dev and the streaming. Because streaming, I mean, streaming is really fun if it's just like once a, once a day for four hours. I think beyond that it starts to get really difficult. She's dead. Marin's dead. They have the kill, I think. Oh! I think they can get through. Or maybe not. Fire. Good sandstorm. She has diamond. 
Stuck on Berserker and Dexcap. Jesus Christ, dude. What the hell is that Levin Sword damage? She lived by one. Oh, no, she's dead. Oh, that is so cheap. Wow, there's just so many. It's just like an army of flyers. That is so cheap. Jesus Christ. Parts of this run have been harder than Divorce and Homeless. <laughs> the most you can do to mitigate stress, physical and mental. It'll get to you eventually. <laughs> yeah, I think like there's like a certain thing where like you just run out of energy per day that need then you just need like to reset or like sleep or something. Damn, dude, we almost had it too. That Levin sword damage was ridiculous though. Resolve would have helped a lot there. Resolve would have... Oh, yeah, there's double Levin Swords, too. Whew. All right, that's what I get for pushing. <laughs> I'm just trying to break through. There's just no opportunities. I, I made one, but then, like, these randos over here just completely punished it. The rando group. What am I at, pulse-wise? Two pulses left. Two pulses left. The only reason we're doing this map is because someone super chatted Goldmary needs Camilla, by the way. <laughs> this has nothing to do with the core run. It's just like a rando super chat. I don't mind calculating difficult things. Like, I like difficult games. I also like game dev and like working on art and stuff. And streaming is fun, too. I think there's just like an accumulation of like... I, th I think once I hit like 60 plus hours of work done in a week, that's usually when I start to get like kind of like burnt out per week, I would say. But then when I'm not working, I feel like I have to be working. So even if I like take a break for a day, I end up working five hours or 10 hours or something I'm like, oh, yeah, today's my day off. And then I'll like make videos for five hours. Today's the day off. So I, I do have a hard time resting. Just like life, even the hardest game needs a relaxing chapter. True. It's an interesting uh, way of looking at it. Yeah, kind of like how chapter 11 is crazy and then chapter 12 is like super easy in this game. I don't know if that's intentional or not though. It might be. Tamara dies again, make sure to say the certain phrase. Oh yeah, Reddit. Oh yeah, let me say Reddit was right because Tamara died. You see what she was tanking though? She tanked a great axe. She's tanking on Hector, which is bad for tanking. Man, dude, it's so... I solved this position, but then this position... <laughs> this thing that's barely within visible sight. I, I do feel like very often I'm playing, like, chess in this game, and then it's like, oh, but you forgot about the second board. <laughs> you forgot about board two. You solved board one, but board two is just within range. And you got checkmated from across the board of board two. Like, oh, damn it. I was, board two always gets me. All right, what are we doing here? Your grind is respectable. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate that. Oh, man. This is just such a bad position. We're almost out of pulses. Can I beat this with two charges left? The coffee on a Sigma grind set. Oh, they're Void Curse now, which is the game's way of telling you this is never stopping. <laughs> That's so stupid. I feel like we have to come back to this. We're we're making progress at a snail's pace. I've been here almost for three hours, or for almost three hours. Uh, we lack magical damage to push through here. The constant barrage of flyers is just slowing us down to the point where it's questionable that I can break through here. And then I also have to break through here. And then here to some degree. So probably have to start doing other content for a bit. We'll leave. I could try to force it. It'll be very difficult. <laughs> oh, hey, you are still here somehow. Yeah, we're going to just do chapter 17 or whatever. It's probably much easier at this point. How can you go to sleep? You were the coffee man. Instead of sleep, drink coffee. 
<laughs> so this map is Gold Mary's fault. Oh, what is that? How much is that super chat even for? I think the DLC super chats. Gold Mary, Sword Master, or Sword General Camilla for 20. All right, so 20, so we're here for three hours for $20. <laughs> I probably would have gotten to like chapter 21 by now. I would think, uh, travel, world map. Wait for Camilla to wait, break the rubble. How long does that take though? It was on like turn 30. All right, let's do chapter 17. We're probably prepared for it. Okay. I would think we hit breakpoints and stuff. I don't see any illusion soldiers yet. Uh, they're likely headed for the castle. <laughs> Alfred Mary. To Fierne Castle. <laughs> I remember it my first time here. Right. My first time here. <laughs> the veil face is so awesome, dude. My first oh, time here. No. What's wrong? Smoke. That's the direction of Flora Port. Oh, they must have. Oh, no, no, no. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. I've had to do it physical only run. So you just wait at you just wait in the entrance and just don't push in. It's not fun. <laughs> no, no, no. Not the port. Is the guy who paid for Camilla here anymore? I don't know. Flora. Why would they do this? These people aren't soldiers far don't give in to despair alfred <laughs> you like the gold berry there are more illusion warships off the coast if any more make land fear will crumble we need to fend off the incoming vessels and then rescue esme oh dear what a mess zephia bring back gba general luck <laughs> i'm guessing this is your hand. that's right <laughs> Evil. Why do you think we're here? Because we saw Elusia's army coming. Your army. Your Sombron's daughter. How can you not know what his forces are doing? I'm not sure. Chris, did you order this attack? Is that how you knew where to go? <sighs> oh, yeah, I should have made Mel aware. Tell me. Sure, I knew about the attack, but I'm not the one who gave the order. Well, then who did? What monster told our forces to attack a town of innocent people? Why, it was you. What? <laughs> what? The people burning to death. I remember I contributed a lot for Camilla, but she wasn't my idea. It was your design. Your command. Mine? <laughs> Vander. Forgive our lateness. There was a complication. Arnie. Bander. Hope you've had some rest after that long trip. But I am ready and raring to kill everyone in town. Like you said. But why would you do such a horrible thing? Innocent? It's not like you to care about that. Oh, I get it. You switched, huh? You're the boring one. You're the boring one. The boring What do you mean? <laughs> Alright. It was a chore dealing with you anyway. I'll tell you the truth. You should hear this. The truth? The you truth. Know why you're clueless? Why you can't remember ordering. Oh, wait, I forgot this is reverse recruitment. I got very weirded out for a sec. <laughs> That's awesome. You're like, what the hell is going on? To use your fell. You were a. Thus, Lord Sombron gave me the power to make a few. adjustments. What adjustments? What did you do to her? <laughs> what did you do to her? Draconic impulses the teensiest bit. Then you thought nothing of killing humans. You embodied Lord Sombron's will. Vander gonna get you. 
stealing the rings. Unleash. That's... That's why I kept waking up in places I didn't recognize. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Consciousness left the other. You got really confused as well. Yeah. Think of it. You fighting the corrupted that you had created. <gasps> but it gets better. The fellow <laughs> and the divine dragon became friends. <laughs> Hilarious. No. No. <laughs> no. You're right. right. The person who killed my mother and stole our rings. It was Vale, but not. There you have it. <laughs> ICG remembers he entered a parallel universe. Okay, so the story doesn't normally look this bad. I'm alone. Vale, it's all right. Please, let me help you. <laughs> the Goldberry Alfred is so awesome. <laughs> no, it looks worse. Sabotage is just a compound effect increase on difficulty. I no longer have any need of you. It gets out of control for not playing the game the intended way. No. Alright. We can skip that. <laughs> Sabotage. Engage story if it was good. <laughs> Diamond. Father, you're alive. <laughs> you mean it looks good as new? Mm -hmm. When I create but a time. Diamond Ivy. Princess. Princess. For stealing the rings from Destinia Cathedral. Ever since then, I have longed for vengeance. Hyacinth. I intended to <laughs> ICG when he hits his cutscene. Well, did you see me skip the cutscene in Fallout 4 earlier? When you're supposed to talk to Skinny Malone? I didn't even let it get to the cutscene, and I just immediately started headshotting that. <laughs> That's how you do cutscenes right. <laughs> you just start popping at <laughs> There's no telling who might win. All right. <laughs> I think there is some telling. We have Tiki bracelets. Etia and Celica is so cursed. <laughs> She's on Celica for the plus one strength. Actually, hold on. Maybe she shouldn't be on it. She should be on something else. What do I have? The S ranks. We got Larchel. <laughs> Larchel. <laughs> Plus 5 HP! Whoa! Jarek. What a Chad. What an absolute Chad. I have a personal vendetta, <laughs> vendetta against cutscenes. It's on site. <laughs> Dude, I love skipping that cutscene. They want to talk to me, they want me to do dialogue choices. And it's like, no, dude. I remember when I was on a rocket launcher character for the Skinny Malone thing, I just shot a rocket launcher uh, missile in between, like in the middle of all of them and instantly killed all those enemies on survival mode. And I was like, yes, perfect. Okay, I think we're actually good now. Go, Jabalina. Go, go, go. Oh yeah, they have that dance combo they use against me. Cutscenes broke into ICG's house and unalived his whole family and Anne burned his garden. <laughs> unalived them. Go, Rosado. Use quick attack. You had a rocket launcher before Skinny Malone? I did. Sometimes I forget to do the main quest. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh yeah, I was supposed to do the main quest. And if you've seen the Fallout stream you would realize how easily I get sidetracked in that game and be like, oh yeah, that makes sense. Dialogue choice pulls trigger. I like that they let you do that. Some games wouldn't let you do that. They would force you, if, they, if it was a JRPG, they would force you 
to talk to them and you'd have no control and then they would have a thing and then you'd have like one or two options but in western rpgs they're so buggy and all over the place they let you just do stuff like that and then the game is just like yeah whatever i mean it is intentional like they do allow you on purpose it's not like it's a, it's a bug or something you're just allowed to do that and it's super satisfying to be able to just not deal with cutscene. <laughs> Scenes interrupting my gameplay. <laughs> Get out of here. How dare you? I usually crit them with a sawed off. They use X was king with that. Daddy, no! What a shame. He was a good man. What a rotten way to die. Is that what you're talking about? You know what? Actually, I don't know what. What are we doing here, man? I'm assuming she can tank here. As a dragon. Have you played Skyrim Survival Mode? I haven't. Why, is it any good? I feel like Skyrim Survival would be weird. Because you have magic. So at any like point in time, you can just be like, Haha, healing, damage. And so on. And if it was Morrowind... Super jump and levitate. But it's not. Dialogue choice in JRPG. Ah, yes. Ah, I see. Understood. <laughs> the three choices. <laughs> to be fair, though, the dialogue choices in Fallout are usually yes, sarcastic, uh, rude response that leads to yes, or no. And then the no is just yes, but in the future, if you want to continue the quest line. <laughs> yes, but in the future. Five had an FE. Kill recruitable enemy unit to kill the cutscene dialogue. It's you just need food, water, and rest like Fallout 3 survival. Ah, okay. I feel like the Fallout survival makes a lot of sense because of the core systems where there's like crafting and base building. Whereas like in Skyrim, it, you could do it and I'm sure it could be fun in some ways, but it, it actually kind of fits the gameplay and like what you're trying to do. Like in Skyrim, there's no junk to craft stuff and to make stuff and to build settlements. And like the whole purified water system integrates directly into the game. And then like the weapon weights and the item weights mattering for like carrying stuff with you. Whereas like in, in uh, Skyrim, you could literally just be wearing robes and just use like armor spells or just don't get hit and just throw fling fireballs at dudes all day for free and just enchant some gear. I feel like in Skyrim, it wouldn't work as well, but it could still be fine. Uh, the one time I played Skyrim, 90% of my time was walking forward, summoning a random summon, smacking them with a mace until they died. Oh, you, were you power leveling off of your summon? You need to play Fallout 1 to 3 in Vegas if you think there's no real refusal in Fallout series. No, I think there's some interesting things. I mean, there's things in 4 you can do. I'm not saying that you can't, like, refuse or whatever. They streamlined a lot of the options in 4 for sure. New Vegas allowed you to do whatever the hell you wanted, and that was kind of cool. And then three, you were allowed to you were allowed to blow up Megaton and do some evil things. I think you could join the Enclave too, couldn't you? Wait, can you join the Enclave in three? I want to say you can, which is definitely interesting. Those are the the bad guys. Fallout three, join Enclave, or is it a mod? You cannot join the Enclave aside with them. Oh, what a missed opportunity. That would be so interesting. I think someone made it. Maybe I was remembering that as a mod. So that would be super interesting. Who needs enemies to smack when you have allies? <laughs> In Skyrim, bows are unironically the best playstyle. They are. In unmodded Skyrim, bows are objectively one of the strongest things. Um... You can smithing cycle any weapon, but arguably bows are the best. 
Smithing cycle is this dumb thing where you can take a hundred damage sword and make it deal 5,000 damage, but you can also do it to bows, I believe, so pretty sure. Oh, look at all these guys coming up on us. There are six ways to realistically solve the story problem in Fallout 1 and 2. That's cool. They need to remake those in Fallout 4's engine, polish the combat a little bit, remake like Fallout 1 and 2 true to what they have in them. <laughs> just crouch and shoot, yeah. I swear I heard something. It must have just been the wind. <laughs> That's like the Skyrim thing. <laughs> who is Who goes there? I must be imagining it. Your mom can do it to bows. <laughs> what are you hitting me with Napoleon Dynamite <laughs> memes right now? <laughs> How dare you? Napoleon Bonaparte. Napoleon Dynamite. What are we doing here, man? No mistakes. No mistakes, I see. Now he's gonna dance some boys. But if we body black or something, we body black them. We hit them with a black. Let's go in here. Let's just shield gambit out of spite. <laughs> let's let them know I don't like what they, whatever it is they're about to do. And you know what, let's Storm's Eye. How about that? The great sack synced to the music. That's ideal. Uh, hand axe, what do we got? She could fight one. Why does Lapis always look terrified? Every time I select her, she looks like she's like trying to run away and hide or something. She's like, no, don't select me. I don't want to die. Yes, grunts number one. The wind killed your friend with an arrow. <laughs> That's so true, too. Wish these games made a, f a good made fist ing a good oh it censors that yeah yeah like in morrowind hand to hand is bad in oblivion hand to hand is bad in skyrim hand to hand is bad in fallout hand to hand is good it's good dude power fist is actually a good weapon it does a ton of damage i think you can get ones that stun on hit and shit you can get some pretty crazy hand to hand weapons and um ooh, get 69 get demolished how did he- oh, he AoE danced? Hold out, alright. Power Fist is actually a solid build. It also has a quick hit. Uh, when you sprint and punch, it's actually very fast. It does like a quick interrupting blow, and if you aim at things head, you deal scale damage, which is sick as hell. It's an unintended consequence of the uh, head hitbox that I think just universal, universally scales damage, but if you melee hit, an enemy in the head and fallout it does like headshot damage and in third person it's unwieldy and hard to control but in first person with punches it's actually kind of consistent so you can punch a dude's head right off if you're accurate and reliable in fallout it's kind of sick actually sick as in cool <laughs> sick as in cool where to? where to one round this dude look at lapis popping off with her iron sword it is censored. That's weird. Well, I guess because... I guess they're trying to combat bots. I think I prefer melee builds in Fallout 4, even though gunplay is way better in 4. Fist... Bows, fist, guns, apparently. No, the guns are definitely better than fists, but in Fallout 4, punching things is legit. Like, you can do a... You can do sword builds, you can do punching builds. Fallout 4, of all the Bethesda games, I think has the best overall gameplay and it has the best balance. And with the right mods, the vanilla perks are actually quite good. Whereas like in Skyrim, I almost always replace the perks with a perk overhaul because they're just boring. Uh, there's some pretty interesting follow-up perks with survival mods, because then like the carry weight things start to matter. Uh, when you have reduced ammo from mods, the ammo finder stuff matters, and like all these weird obscure perks that usually just suck are actually kind of cool. Uh, it's also fun to say fist-ing, like saying in g generals. Why would they... Why would they censor generals? Are they just, like, salty that generals are bad in modern Fire Emblem games? <laughs> or something. Or the generals are typically not as good as other things. So they're like, you know what? If we can't say generals, no one can say generals. Or if generals can't be good. 
Blitz is crazy. Blitz is definitely crazy. Blitz? Oh, dude, now you make me want to make a Blitz character. I don't think my Fallout streams are not doing well enough to justify continuing to do them, but I'm having a great time doing them. Blitz, dude, Blitz kills. So, all right, so here's, here's a fun thing to do in Fallout 4. You run Blitz, but you also play, there's mods that fix third person melee. So you blitz to open and then you follow up and go for head hits for for spike damage. So you, there's still like this combination of like, it's almost like an ability where you like use an ability to teleport and deal damage, interrupt an enemy action, then you smack them to last hit for it with like a head melee shot. You got ninja blitz, a couple of other perks, you'll be all right. Did you know you can blitz after a grenade? <laughs> Did you know there's a tech? There's a tech, if you throw a grenade in Fallout and blitz after it, you will chase the grenade, you'll be in VATS mode, you'll have 90% damage reduction, you'll tank the grenade, the grenade will explode at your location, and then you'll be next to an enemy off, like as an explosion occurs, because you have 90% damage reduction uh, when you're in VATS, like during a VATS attack, for some reason. I don't know why that is, but VATS armor is a thing. <laughs> it's very stupid. It requires some execution to pull off, but it's a thing you can do. But you can, you have to throw it up at like a slight angle and you can, you have to immediately hit vats and you can like teleport in with the grenade. And sometimes the grenade flies beyond you and then blows up. So it's kind of neat. Some interesting tech. Oh, Gris has two health bars. Did you know you can be sent flying by blitz if the geometry is wonky? That might have happened to be like once or twice. Uh, what do we do here? Now he's gonna do his big dance again. He just keeps dancing people. Which I'm not a fan of. As you can tell. People started leaving when I was talking about Fallout. That's great. They're like, oh, Jesus Christ, not more Fallout. <laughs> We've had enough of this Fallout shit. <laughs> We're done with Fallout. Alright, ETA. Blitz is the tech perk. It has some cool things. The melee thing is interesting. Let's see if we can get away with this. We might. Yes, we did. We got away with it. And I would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for that frickin' dog. <laughs> that frickin' dog. <laughs> Now, what will Gris do? Will he bulg? Oh yeah, he has a punching thing now. There was Fallout for changing game discussions. <laughs> That's right. Oh, that didn't even take a health bar off. That is substantially bad. Here, take off Javelin off this health bar. There we go. Oh, my back. <laughs> oh, my back. All right, we're going to lock him into place. We'll lock him into a seven year contract. Something like that. Can you kill here, man? Can you do this for me? He can. Gris wants to be in pain, so he'll jump directly into fire. <laughs> Wouldn't Gris just be dead because he's just always pursuing being in pain? Such a weird dude. Here, get this. I hope Etia can hit from here. I still have a second sealed Horde. I think I don't have the, I still have the money for it. Wait. Oh, he's on Byleth! I was like, how's he counterattacking? <laughs> He's on Byleth. That's actually scary. Byleth is a very scary thing. Hmm, this could be bad. He might have enough damage to kill her. Adaptability, that helps, but he probably has enough damage. He does. 
Oh, it's such bad Ike, dude. It's bad Ike. Can't be in pain if you're dead. True. If you love Fire Emblem, you don't like Fallout. <laughs> I love when London says when Linden says that. Oh my back it has to be one of his crit passives. Okay, we're too far away to attack Gris. He's not too far away to attack us, though. Go! Fogato! <laughs> Wait, why is he on Lemon Sword? <laughs> I just noticed that. Like, wait a second, are you on Lemon Sword right now? Fire Breath. Fire Breath, go! Fail! Attack. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, what is everyone else on? Are they still on, like, Sigrid and stuff? And stuff. We got Lin. Okay. Lin and what else? Erica. The Eric is actually kind of scary because of the tanking. Can't say I'm a fan of that. And what is this? Corrin? That's definitely different. Alright, Corrin. Ike. Vander and Ike. Alright, right on. Lucina. Okay. Building around Fire Breath can be fun. Things like Fire Breath are fun. Or are they? This guy's got range, dude. Yeah, he needs to cut it out. He needs to stop having range. I'm just gonna try to prevent them from getting in. So we can stagger them. Vand Vander is invincible. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Hit! Hit the 100. You can do it. I believe in you. <sighs> Alright, good miss, good miss. Hmm. <laughs> Busting in once again with not enough damage. With not as much damage as you'd think. Did you know Elden Ring censors knights when naming your characters? It censors the term knight? Like KNI? Weird. Yeah, censorship is strange. Because the intention is to stop people from saying offensive things. And usually the result is that they censor things that are not offensive all the time because the system is tripping on things that are not offensive. Hmm. She will die. Get some dudes in there. <laughs> the game censors and I <laughs> I'm not gonna even read that out, but yeah. I, I see why. <laughs> what do you have? A knife. Uh, ne fu. What? Dude, that da- wait, how? Excuse me? Oh, it broke it and then it dance combo- Jesus Christ. <laughs> it broke it and then dance comboed me? Oh my goodness. That is so absurd. His dance is broken as hell though. Why did they give this like- What is this? 
Uh, why? Two space dance? They like invented some new thing. Diabolical dance. Why though? That's super obnoxious. And it's like an ability too. And he can do it every turn. Old Mary can't do anything. It's in vanilla, used by Hortensia in chapter 14. She never actually gets to use it because you pop her instantly. True. The two spaces is kind of absurd, though. Because I have to, like, calculate these getting danced. They made him better than the actual dancer in the game. They did. All right, I guess she'll drop back because this dancing business is crazy. Oh, but then he's going to move forward and dance too. I guess I have to ice him off so he can't do that. Rip, I missed the stream. Yeah, we're getting there. We're gonna let it rip. Beyblades, rip, let it rip. <laughs> Isn't that what they used to say? For Beyblades? I think it is. I'm pretty sure I'm correct. Here, we'll do one of these. Defense plus five. Wait, who has the diamond? I used it on someone, right? Oh, Ivy had it, okay. <laughs> yeah, Radiant, you missed 10 tiles of progress at 29 turns on Cowmilla. <laughs> Cowmilla. Dang, I'll have to. <laughs> everyone here was suffering. I'll have to check out the VOD. Just gonna dance this out again. <coughs> Jesus. I'm like coughing or whatever. Diabolical dance. Hmm. Better get to work. We'll just keep him away again. All right, then we can push somewhat safely. Still have to go to class though. Professor about to get us a quiz. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's life. Good luck with the run. Thank you, Radiant Aether. I appreciate it. Good luck with the quiz. To quote someone in a random TF2 game, Good luck, team! <laughs> it was like a guy and a girl that kept saying, Good luck, team! Good luck! And then they got vote kicked because people were getting tired of it. But I didn't want them to leave because it was so stupid. It was perfect. Good luck, team. It was one of the best... It reminded me of the good old days of TF2. Where everyone's just perpetually goofing off. And no one takes the game that seriously, except for the tryhards. Professor Griss is giving a dancing lesson. Good luck! <laughs> the girl was like, good luck, team! And then the guy was like, good luck, team! And he just kept saying it. I don't know, man. It was funny. The good luck, team. 
I still can't believe they got kicked. <laughs> People have no sense of camaraderie anymore. The <laughs> good luck team. I'm pretty sure they were faking an Indian accent, which made it even funnier. I don't know why. Because I think I heard them, one of them talking in like their normal accent is just like a, like an English dude or whatever, or an American. <laughs> so that's, that, that made it even funnier too. <laughs> They're faking an accent. <laughs> Oh my god. They sounded convincing, though. It was a pretty good impression. It was like spot on. It was pretty solid, actually. It was undeniably good. What do we got here? Hort, Rosano. This guy's hard to kill, huh? It's a random sage with 19 speed. Either he's hard to kill or my units suck. She can kill it. Just need to good, get some good luck. Team. She needs Binding Blade. Oh, she could have it. Just not yet. Who wants to kill this? Rosado can kill this. Yeah. Big old smack there. Gris is clearly doing the cringy dances on TikTok, and everyone is just really trying to get away. <laughs> the heart. Ooh, I one shot. Heavy attack. Gris is a Fortnite player. Team. Good luck. Gris is doing the gritty. <laughs> Oh no, not the gritty. The last thing we want to see. What? Now we have to kill Gris. What? <laughs> He prioritizes dance targets. Man, this is the most, this is probably the most obnoxious boss ever. I kind of have to respect it. It's actually like a boss. Cause normally he just runs up to you and dies stupidly, but this is actually like a boss. It's like doing things that I have to counterplay against. It's kind of better. <laughs> Gris is flossing. It's kind of better than normal encounters, really. Because at least he's doing something different that's interesting, and he's not just like dumping out stats or whatever, just standing in a corner waiting for you to hit him <laughs> with Celica <laughs> equipped. Just his normal mode of being. He's running off to dance the other bosses. Gris dance camping. Port. <laughs> Look at her face. So funny. She's like, ha ha. Now, how do we get to this guy? He's just really far away now. I mean, I can like attack him with this low damage and then die. That's not a really good idea, though. Probably not the best idea. Good luck, team. He's doing the default dance. He's gonna grind. <laughs> Gris is gonna grind for 12 hours, level 40. <laughs> oh no. Gris wishes his team good luck in TF2 and then gets vote kicked. Part one. <laughs> Part one. I don't know why there'd be multiple parts for that. 
Okay. I guess I'll let him attack me. Yeah, whatever. Born. Let's see what they do. Part one of seven. Got these guys. All right, what does Gris do? He dances. What? He's prioritizing dancing over attacking. He really is just about the dancing, dude. It's like his primary thing. Look at the lapis damage. It's almost one rounding on an iron sword. I mean, now she has Roy and sword power four, but it's still not bad. I need to stop him. He's just really insane. I can't attack him though, I'm just so far away. Jesus. He's just a ranged dancer. Don't worry, I'm fine. Oh no one's worried about you, Etienne. Don't you don't have to concern yourself. 124 avoid, huh? You know what? I'm just gonna disrespect the AI. Just go for it. He can just dance people from like four tiles away. Yeah, that's kind of concerning, honestly. He's not, he doesn't care to, <laughs> to like attack either. He only has hand axe. All right, hand axe this then. Gris be acting like a Persona character whenever Altus needs money. <laughs> Often does Altus need money? Damn, dude, she just sandstorms immediately. Damn. That's hot. <laughs> That's hot. That was a reference to the stupid. to the Will Smith. That's an old meme. Oh, that's such an old meme. That was before Will Smith destroyed his reputation by slapping Chris Rock. Speaking of which, what's happened to him since that? Keep my wife's name! Are they still together, even? His wife's name? Is Will Smith still with, uh... She considered filing for divorce, but did not do it. Damn. What the hell? Dude, she's like torturing him. Jesus Christ. She just won't let him go. She's just like, she is ruining that guy. Will Smith only exists when he's done something stupid. No, he used to be cool. Like, Fred, during, like, the Fresh Prince era and stuff, he used to be really cool. For sure. Now now people clown on him. Wasn't his wife abusive? She seems to be, like, psychologically abusing him. As far as I can tell. But he used to be, like, people just liked him. Like, he was just a well, the favorite. He was just funny. Uh, the old Will Smith shows are so good. Will Smith now is something. Yeah. You could argue he's fallen off. He did He, he did hit, like, hyper success, though. And he probably just didn't feel the need to push as much as he did when he was, like, younger and hungrier. Kinda miss YouTube Rewind. Did they get rid of that? Is that still a thing? 
Used to be sure it was in ages. Yeah, I guess that's true. Did they get rid of YouTube Rewind? It's rewind time, everybody. <laughs> I think they got rid of it. There wasn't a YouTube Rewind 2019. 2020. YouTube Rewind 2020. Thank God it's over. Was there not one for 2020? Did they, they did end them, didn't they? Last Rewind was 2019. Dang. I, I meant Beauty 5 made one that was funny. It's like, it's rewind time, everybody. And it had like all these dumb memes in it. And then it had the trumpet thing and all this other stuff. <laughs> so great. Oh, we got a crit. It was good to make fun of. Yeah, it's rewind time. <laughs> he was like, yeah, that's hot or whatever. Now, those were the good old days of a few years ago <laughs> of re reasonably just a few years ago <laughs> almost five years ago we got laughed out of existence when they made the awful 2021 2019 one. Oh yeah that was not the one with ninja too what can we do here he's gonna dance this thing i bet oh god that's actually a huge threat. <laughs> if he dances that, we are done for. That thing will find a kill. For sure. Uh. Hmm. All right, well, let's just see what they do. Maybe I can do a gimmick with Shield Gambit. Who knows? He's going to dance the worm. Oh, no. He's going to dance the worm. It's going to kill Tamara. Why is this even a mechanic right now? Oh, I dodged it. Get wrecked. I dodged an 81. This is ridiculous. This should never happen. That should not be a thing. <laughs> I also can barely get to that thing. Can I even kill it right now? Okay. I don't think I can kill it. Well, I can do 18 damage. Just two tap it with four range longbow warrior. <laughs> yeah. Luckily, dragons have very... That was really close. Dude, I can't... He's, like, positionally really far away from my entire team because of the fire, and he's all the way over here. I can't get damage to him to kill him, and I also probably can't kill that. Uh, however, the fire works both ways. So I'm going to make him chase me. If he wants to be like this. Like, all right, you want to play these games? Gris? And you're gonna chase me. Like one of your French girls. Time for the Joe Star. What is who's Joe Star? And what is the technique? Is it running away? Is it turtling? What is it? <laughs> what is the technique? Technique! Squidward! Squidward! The technique! <laughs> technique! 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 First you do this! And then you spin around! <laughs> what is Joe Star technique? Carefully, quickly retreating from the opponent while keeping a close eye on surroundings for things used to defeat or assist in defeating them. <laughs> yes, it is running away. 
Nice. Technique. You like my Squidward impression? I haven't seen JoJo's. It seemed a little bizarre, personally. A little bit too bizarre for me. Whatever you say. Whatever I say. Don't say that. That's crazy. Uh, she has holdout. Go attack. Attack! What do you have? Venomous? Venomous. Venomous. <laughs> Mindlessly venomous. Yes. Ah. <laughs> Mindlessly venomous. Everything. There are no consequences. There is only venomous. Uh, Jesus Christ. I'll literally die <laughs> if I do that. Let's not die. Good idea. Attack! I don't know who's going to heal these. JoJo seems cringe like most anime. I know a lot of people watch it. I don't really watch anime. I think I might just start sleeping instead of watching shows. JoJo's been around since late 80s. Dang, dude! Anime about burly muscular gay men doing pose-offs. Like bodybuilding. <laughs> Yeah, you guys are talking trash today. <laughs> talking all sorts of all sorts of trash. Talking all sorts of trash. Uh, uh let's feed what level are you even? I just kill this. All right, that's respectable. <laughs> the Hort. Any holdout unit can move forward. It's time to kill this guy. I don't think she can tank. There's no holdout. <laughs> Strength plus two, and it's Lance. Lan what is it, Lance prowess? Dude, what? <laughs> Proficiency, power, all right, that's right. <laughs> Lance prowess. Oh no. Okay, we tank it. At least he's, this was a huge fight here. Just fighting, just getting Gris to be close enough to actually attack him. Like an undertaking. Look at that. And he has two health bars too. Tamara here. No, <laughs> she did die. All right, get healed. Point blank physic, go. The reason people call everything a JoJo reference because the author makes cultural, general cultural references. <laughs> that would do it. Aha. Chris finally found his one true love. Fire. He divine pulsed? So that means he missed. Get lapis, dude. I can't tell if it's the sabotage or the different scenario. <laughs> I don't know if that fight was way harder than normal or if my team is just super sabotaged. The lines of reality and fantasy have been sufficiently blurred. Well, half the map is cleared. And we have Mar- wait, she has a bow? The hell? What is she- what is Marnie cooking right now? She's on Parthia. <laughs> Okay, what's her hit rate? 130, that's a typical. All right, and then him? He's on a hammer. Vander hammer. Then she's on Corrin now. It's both. 
I mean, it's definitely harder than the normal encounter. For sure. Because, like, dancing things and having to calculate out, like, the dance distance and threats and stuff. JoJo author has big love for Western culture. Nice. She has res now. Um, that's a phone for you. I usually don't have my phone in here. Well then, let's go. Let's go. Let's do the treats. I didn't buy staffs, which I should have. Nice healing light. <laughs> phone. Yeah, do you like the phone? <laughs> All right, let's heal up. <laughs> the phone meta. All right, I think here's what I'm gonna do. I'm not doing art stream tonight. I'm gonna chill out after this stream, and then tomorrow we're gonna be working like, I'm gonna be doing Friday, Saturday, Sunday, all the way to next Friday of just like constant content and shit. We're gonna go a little nuts. I need to do like bursts. Maybe I should have like planned off days or something so that I can do like bursts. Maybe I should do like two to three days of like just like straight up 12 to 15 hour days of just like streaming videos, game dev. So then it's like a chunk of like 36 to 45 hours and have like a day off and then just do that. But then I would have to, it's difficult because I have like certain obligations on certain weekends to have the same days off if it's going to be off every three days. Hmm. Why buy staff so you get 30 treats every time you use the well? Treat is always the answer. Treat. You treat your team to a heal. I need to figure out the optimal schedule for me. It seems like the third day of working like a bunch of like, you know, longer shifts on stuff is usually around when I start to feel like I need a break for like a day. Like, as long as uh, things are getting done, right? <laughs> and the stream, like the stream is consistent and things are consistent. That's like what matters the most. <laughs> All the phones. <laughs> Heal! Linden, you must heal. You must heal, my son. Thanks! <laughs> you must heal, Linden. Thanks! I'm getting ready for the next push. I'm giving baby Linden some XP. It's like an old man. Alright, I think now is a good time to bookmark. Whew, okay. Because we have, like, what? 12 minutes until 4 anyways? I think that's a good time to stop. Alright, thank you for checking this out, everyone. If you want to support the stream, you can always become the member, which has the emotes, like this. Here's all the emotes we have. We actually have 16 right now, and we're pretty close to 17, actually, which is kind of crazy. I've been looking at other streamers around my channel size, and most have like five to 10 emotes. So we're actually kind of killing it in some ways. So we just have to keep on the war path to victory. <laughs> I'm like quoting Jocko shit, but I'm not a Navy SEAL, so. All right, thanks for checking this out, everyone. I will see you tomorrow.